Welcome in, everyone. You might have dinner plans. You're going to go check. If not, you'll join in. Sounds good. Thank you so much, uh, and congratulations to the Queer Note for getting first. We are going to have a real good time playing some Minecraft. I'm almost afraid to hop back in the voice chat because I am so easily distracted. But we have a great number of people on the server ready to play. Hi Shay, welcome in. Thank you guys for the check-ins. have seven people that's a lot of people yeah it seems as though people are kind of wandering around the minigame area so you can head here I just didn't want people to get stuck anywhere we have a raid <laughs> I'm glad I didn't join back in the Discord. Welcome in, FunBute29. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. We're actually just getting started with some Minecraft um, community games. So if you have Bedrock Minecraft and you really feel like playing, oh, thank you, Shay. You're on top of things as always. Uh, you're more than welcome to join in. Thank you for the follow, iLumi. Uh, I've got a little song to perform and a video to show you. Thank you for the follow Joy Legacy. I'll wait for the, um, the clip to finish up so that I don't block it out. Thank you for the follow, Exin. Uh, I will see you on the other side of this video. Just hang tight. Hi, lovey! Keep going and growing, a raid is showing. Raiders, welcome in, how was stream? What did you play? Hey, thanks for dropping by, I understand if you can't stay. Hey, my name is Redria and I'm a part-time streamer, full-time scientist and full-time dreamer. Hope you're having an awesome time today. I'll lead the way. I play platformer, sandbox games, farming sims, come watch all three. E I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch TV. E -e -e -e. Like what you see, there's no need to wallow. Find me again, go on and click that follow. Please refresh your streams and then your free pronouns they she. Welcome fun, Butte Raiders. Welcome in. Am I pronouncing your username right? Is it like butte? Like, oh, that's a beauty. Had a lot of fun in Jackbox. I think I heard it was the, um, was it the VTuber or PNG tuber reveal stream as well? Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you guys had a great time. Uh, I'm gonna hop back over into some Minecraft. Because I got people waiting on me to uh, start some mini games. We have quite a few people. Looks like we lost the queer note. Hopefully they'll be back. I see them in chat, so I, I presume that they are here. You heard. Well, I just had to make sure. I had to make sure. Hi, mom. You are reconnecting. Sounds good.
Also, uh, Shay, I think you probably hit your five. Yep, you hit your five hosts. I'll communicate in chat. That seems to be the thing that makes the most sense. So, all right. Let me hop back into the VC. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. It's me. I'm here. So, of, hey. of those of you... Oh, I keep doing that. I keep, uh, like, oh. minimizing Minecraft, and it just closes. Stop that. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, if you click something else and pull another window up, you're fine. But if you, like, minimize, it gets weird. Good old Minecraft. You gotta love you know, it. Exactly what happened to me, too, so I'm currently reconnecting. So it you looks... a little fidgety on Switch. Yeah, it can be. Good old Bill I'm Gates. on Switch. So it looks like at the moment we have seven of us, and I think Sekhmet was checking whether she had dinner plans or not, and if she doesn't, she'll join in, and we'll have eight. But I want to try to make sure the teams feel even. Even Steven. Alrighty. Alright, let's see if I can find where you guys are at. We all, if you go to the warp zone, which uh, is, uh, there's like a mini game madness area. Thank you for lurking, Fun Butte. Thanks, Selena Snake. Hi, Snake. You don't have to join the VC if you don't want to, and I will be assigning us teams, and then you can just go to your team VC if you want to communicate that way. Surprise, I'm already in here. Surprise, you're here already. Surprise. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Lost. So. Oh, this is new. This is new. Take care, Elle. Thank you for lurking, Inky. I appreciate you. Yeah, so this is a new area because I figured, why run the rainbow race in the same exact area we did it last time? That's kind of anticlimactic. You would already know everything. Wow, um, these poor people have to go up a hill to get to their bunker. Yeah, so I'm hoping that it's balanced enough in terms of, like location I mean there's a bit of a hill either way each bunker has a set number of beds you have your fenced in area with the exact same amount of wheat two sheep and some chickens uh, I do have to reset the contents of the chests there are also Ooh. hidden skeleton dungeons at each base I think somebody found already <laughs> like somebody yeah. said earlier they found one it, I'm, I won't be too surprised um I just wanted to give each team their own separate one this time instead of like a shared one because the bone meal might be more useful this time around why is this tree like cut in half um which one that's a nice feature which one oh it's that like was half a tree yeah that was a world edit thing or a structure block thing actually as it were i learned how to use structure blocks which is basically the little itty bittiest form of world edit that vanilla minecraft has to offer yeah so the the hint this time is that this map is much larger than the last rainbow race map we are pretty much sticking to this continent except for where the fences are if you see the fenced off area you can go past it it's just that's not where i intended the gameplay to happen so you might be going past it and you won't find you'll just find vanilla minecraft that way you won't find like any hidden secrets okay I figured we would start with the rainbow race, and then if you guys have fun with it and you want to try something else, um, we could switch over to shopping list, which, like, basically I would just randomly generate a bingo card 
for each team, and then you have to like just go find the things on that bingo card. Welcome in, Kristen. Of course, the bingo card is gonna be a lot harder because it could be like, oh, go find a diamond, go find a saddle, and I don't know how you're gonna yeah. do that. You're gonna go back to my swamp? <laughs> no, that's cheating. Okay. That is cheating. So what I have to do real quick while uh, people are filtering in is I actually have to go into creative mode and get stuff for the chests. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love that you're showing off someone with snake and I jumping around and spinning around like fools. Hi Sekhmet, you can come to uh, minigame madness at the warp zone. The warp zone. The warp zone. So, uh, question, if you don't mind. That's ah. that's fine. What's your question? I might be jumping the gun here, but um, as somebody who's never done a rainbow race before, um, we be explaining the rules and such. I will. Just is. I, I definitely will. Um, I had rule boards up at the last place. I just didn't copy them over because a lot of the people here um, were part of the last one or ha like at least watched the last one, but I was planning on explaining it regardless. Cause we don't we don't want this to be like punishing. Gotcha. And I possibly a, possibly <laughs> important question: Where is anything on the server? <laughs> I'm s I have not been on here before. Oh, so. that that's fine. Uh, let me. You probably started back at spawn, right? Like yeah. Let me go find you. Yeah, there's a, like, large, um, stronghold settlement type thing that we call Cirrus Castle, and I'm, I'm lost. I'm good, I'm good. Where? Uh, Arrow bounce, turn around. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could, but I also kind of wanted to show them, like, oh, you can come this way, and that way, on the off chance, we get separated. If you step on that pressure plate, it will take you to the warp zone. And right now, we're here in Minigame Madness. It's uh, set up with some pretty cool automatic um, command blocks. One second while I turn it today. I, I cannot. I can. Uh, watch your step arrow because there's another return pipe here. That if you drop in it, it will just take you back to where you were. What are you guys doing with the slime blocks? <laughs> Boing. Mom, that is definitely not your sister. Uh huh. No, couldn't be. What? <laughs> uh, did you spawn the cow up there? <laughs> and then pushed it off. <laughs> it's still bouncing. Right, one more. One more. One more. <laughs> oh wow. All right. Uh, I'm getting distracted as I always cows. do. <laughs> I will be right back. Cows. Okay, take Wait. your time. <laughs> I have to get some gear set up. So, for those of you who played last time, were you okay with there only being two sets of armor, or would you rather there be more? That ended up being fine. Yeah. Uh, I'll do it's one set fun. of iron and one set of leather. That way, like, you can decide who needs the better armor. Uh I mean, I guess the thing is, like, you have keep inventory on. I do. So, really, death is kind of just, uh, gonna slow you down more than anything. And that's why I think, I think we said PvP was kind of, like, it's not fully not allowed, but it's just <laughs> discouraged. Welcome in, Lucavian. Because, like, you're not gonna steal items from them. Yeah, like, it's, it's fine, but it's not... A tactical, tactically good move. For you. Right. I'm gonna die this armor. Hey, Red. I don't mean to get you off your train of thought, but you've got a lot of skeletons up here. Good. Oh. Like, like they're traveling I... up, or I don't know. There's probably a spawner somewhere. There is a spawner somewhere. Oh, no. I know there's a spawner nearby. Do yeah. Well, I mean, they I can't help the fact out. that they want to hide for shade under that tree. Maybe get, <laughs> get rid of the tree okay, if you don't like it. I don't want this side. 
You refuse to be blue team? Ow. Is that what I'm hearing? Well, I mean, I like the color blue, but I mean, they're they're quite extreme. You're quite extreme. They're skeleton bros. Ow. And back here. Back to the trampoline. Does somebody want to um, help out by dyeing a set of two sets of leather armor red? Yeah. I can do that. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Full armor? Yep. Are you in creative? Yes. Okay. I will make sure to change everyone. <laughs> I volunteer. Oh, dang it. Yep. I think a lot of us are in creative. Yeah, we can change that then. Because it probably wouldn't be... Oh my gosh. It wouldn't be very fun. Too. Yeah, I mean, I figured you'd just pop us out of it. Me too. I can actually just, like... Uh, backslash set all to survival, which is a pretty nice yeah. feature. So yeah, basically I'm trying to get starting gear set up and I like kind of forget what I had. I have a picture somewhere, probably on my phone, okay. which won't help me because that's my camera right now. Dumb question. Is this not, is it not just combining dye and armor like it is in Java? No, you actually have to get a cauldron, fill it with water, dye the water, and then you can right click um that's to so die. unnecessary it's red did you need a blue set made i already have the blue set made oh okay just check but thank you yes i did kill two cauld cauldrons in the making of this video i'm the worst how dare you rest in peace cauldron <laughs> cauldrons were harmed i'm so sorry i've let you all down I don't have the picture. <laughs> I cry. I have the armor. Where would you like it? Um, red starting area? Yeah, red starting chest. Make it look purdy. I think we gave like a netherite axe and a sword or something. Did we have shields and or iron to make shields? I can't remember. I don't think so. I'm just gonna give you guys shields this time. Like you'll get you'll get two shields per team. That way you can decide who is doing the fighting. Okay. Yeah. Creeper, a creeper just went into one of the buildings because there's no. Oh. All right, doors. I'll get him. Aren't creeper explosives turned off? I don't remember. It's been. I don't think they are. <laughs> Let's I find out. Well, so um, I know in the um, Java server, we were able to keep mob griefing on, but add a little line of code to turn creeper explosions off. And that way villages oh. would still work. But I don't know that you can do that in Bedrock. Boing. This is too much fun. <laughs> we could just do this the whole time. All right, guys, I'll cancel the minigame stream. We're just going to bounce around <laughs> on some slime. Aww, <laughs> Let's create a trampoline arena. It's like our own Fall Guys course. It's just all slimes. So you can just jump right the end. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I do have Drip Leaf Spleef, which is basically Hexagon. So that's another game that we can play then. True. Okay, so... Um, also, who's saying Ball Pit? You want, I, have, I have balls for the Ball Pit. <laughs> oh, oh no! Slime blocks and yum tubes. Okay. Forget snowballs actually do damage. Segment. Do you see what I have here in this chest? Where are you? Uh, blue fenced-in area. We lost a snake. Oh, what happened? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hit you with a snowball. Uh, this chest here. <laughs> do you yeah. remember anything else? Oh, uh. Shears, probably. Do we have yeah, we definitely have shears. Well, wheat seeds. We had wheat seeds. Okay. And I maybe a hoe? I can't remember if we made a hoe or not. We had definitely wheat seeds and stuff to grow more wheat if we so chose. Okay. I also did not make two sets. Wait. How dare you? Are we doing two sets of leather armor and two sets of iron armor? Yes. Because okay. I'm assuming that the, that way everyone will have <laughs> some level of armor. Right. Don't take anything yet. I'm just trying to recall what we had and might need. So the seeds, it sounds like. And I think there was a hoe. I mean, it's simple enough to make like a wooden hoe if we need to. I, I put a netherite hoe in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ding right, dong. Let's try it out. The sound of victory. Yeah, I'm just testing, right? Of course. Yeah. But, well, I tested both sides, so that's pretty fair. There's a brown sheep here that I, I'm very sorry, but it needs to die. It does, yes. I, I Why cannot. Why does brown sheep need to die? Because that's the one that's going to be hard to find. It's Otherwise, it would be fair. really, really easy to get brown wool. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Oops. I'm gonna it go- doesn't, It doesn't guarantee victory. <laughs> it does not. You could, you could still lose. So, I'm gonna go back to the original area and read the rules. So, for those of you who have not played Rainbow Race before, listen to me. Each team will race to collect 16 types of dyed wool. Look around and make the best use of the environment. Teams are going to be red versus blue. Split up and decide on tasks among yourselves. Uh, Lucavian apparently really wants me to sing this. <laughs> First team with the completed rainbow board wins. I have to start over now. Each team will race to collect 16 types of dyed wool. Look around and make the best use of the environment. Teams are red versus blue. I will pick the teams in a moment. Split up and decide among yourselves on tasks. First team with the completed rainbow board wins. Now I'll come back and tell you a little bit more about this island. And I'm not really sorry that I have to sing this. This island is home to an old abandoned chocolate mine. Someone has found where to go. It's mom. She was here when I made this. But the cocoa beans might be hidden down in the old chocolate mine. It's heavily guarded. You know how Hershey is. <laughs> Each base also has their own skeleton dungeon. Farming the bone meal can be very useful. There's a couple of areas that are fenced off for your safety. You probably won't find much down there during the rainbow race. I've also heard that there's a plant witch living nearby. And there seems to be an old abandoned stable in the desert. Just a couple of points of interest on the map. Rest in pieces, no. soul and a snake. <laughs> I'm very sorry for your loss. Sleep at night. Is it not night yet? Is it quite... It's daytime now. Oh, I see. I just Perfect. changed the clock. It's only been two minutes, so I still have to sing. <laughs> Don't forget about the trampoline. Chat, if you are listening, type in the server if you're playing. Hey, yo, let's go. Yes. She totally did not mean to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. It was the perfect song lyrics. I also matched the red chest with the blue. So it has everything all the same. Stuff. That looks like there's eight of us. Do you need me to, uh, I have a question. Do I need to sing it? Yes, <laughs> you do. Oh you don't have to. We talked about 
about maybe people being fair and if there's a place like the mind you don't take both of whatever it is Did that you is say that and I, missed it? I forgot to say that the cocoa mines have a limited supply of cocoa beans please only take what you need don't need to screw the other team. <laughs> yes, and if I recall correctly, you said it's, it's basically this peninsula, right? Blocked off by the fence? Yes, that's and correct. It's, yeah. it's a much larger map, and then we might play shopping list or bingo. Does anyone or have any... <laughs> yes, sing mode is on. I was reading the rules of the game, and Lucavian said it would be really fun if I had to sing them and make it a musical number. Does anyone have any questions? Nope. Does anyone have any team preferences? Nope. I didn't know if anyone felt like they were a little new to the game. Um, I mean, I mean, there are a bunch of us that are just jumping around on blocks, so do you think we're really good at it? <laughs> That's to be decided. I have never played this game. <laughs> I don't even know how to jump on this, so I'm... This is like my first time playing Bedrock for an extended period of time. <laughs> Mostly like Java. Some of the recipes are needlessly complicated. Like a boat, for example, is I'll stupid. You need yeah. a shovel to build a boat, which is okay. insane to me. <laughs> Why do you need a shovel to build a boat? That makes no sense. Blue team! Oh. I'm on the red team. I'm with my mother! Aww, with mommy. Aww. <laughs> the family affair. Oh, Red's play! Yes, I am playing! <laughs> oh, we got the. the we got the family life. together! An actual family affair. <laughs> and then fire is also there. <laughs> Thank you to whomever filled the red chest correctly. Me! Oh. Segment, I think. Does anyone have anything in their pockets that they shouldn't have? No. Nope. Can I keep my can I keep my goat horn? Can I keep my singular carrot? <laughs> <laughs> you may keep your carrot. <laughs> I just had to clear my pockets. Everyone go and set your spawn. Oh, yeah. Brothers. Thank you for dropping oh, by, Lou Cavian. I guess I should do it in the um, in our actual team. Can I just so in the blue team's area? I think we only have one sheep. I think the other one escaped. So okay, uh, we I will spawn in. in another sheep. Okay, it's been five minutes. I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> but you could. I could. We'll do. Uh, I can I Thank you, Kate. Whoops. Ah! I didn't break a block. No one saw anything. There's no evidence. Everyone right, who's Mr. in creative mode, sit down. One sec. I'm gonna. Um, I can lead our. One more bounce. The most epic bounce to end all bounces. Let me know when you're ready for survival mode. And right. when the blue team has two sheep. And then we'll probably Our break off into teams. Our sheep have recovered. Have been recovered. Oops. Welcome in, Chibi S'mores. It's Minecraft the musical. <laughs> I kind of wish I that I could make my chat participate. No. <laughs> but alas, I lack that power. Of that I am aware. Well, but, down to the road. but in this game, uh, of course. We run around and everything is square. I'm hoping I get 
put into survival mode while I'm up here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, ready for it! Oh. I hope that's what you wanted. Exactly what I wanted. It was beautiful. Please stop going oh. toot toot. I even got my horn. <laughs> All right, everyone. Do you oh, want? Please get out of here. <laughs> Great job, oh. Barry Sacks. It wasn't me. It was all of us. Oh boy. <laughs> Off to a great to start. Out of here. I don't think you're talking about everything's fine over on blue team, so. It seems like red team. Yeah. <laughs> red team, the red team needs to get their <laughs> act together. Oh. No well, the these guys are mad. <laughs> mad. I didn't think about that being a problem. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to balance that Shoot. a little bit. Shoot. What, are you, what are you changing? I'm adding it so the skeletons can't walk out and cyber bully us. Oh, well, yeah, they, they certainly do that on ours. <laughs> they certainly do. Ah! <laughs> they love to they love to have 360 no scope people. They really oh, do. Good. So chat, how do you want me to call the start of the game? I can do it with a goat horn. I can <laughs> do it Wait, I got with a flare. Fighting each other over here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we already have each other. Oh, skeleton fight. Yeah. All right, everyone. Good. good news. Hey, Red. Yes. Are we not going to go to different channels so everybody else can hear our plans? We are. That's what I'm trying to say. Blue team and red team, let's break off from vibes. All right. But I still have to sing. <laughs> Hello, red team. Can y'all hear me? I can hear you. Thank you for the sing mode. Hey, Kate, I got you. Are we starting? Everyone get into your pens. With pens. Your team pens. <laughs> no, I mean like, you mean the pen with all the pens? animals. That would be the only pen we have. Well, it could be the bunkhouse. That's not a pen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pen. house. <laughs> what a pen. Yeah, I like all these extra bones we get from the skeleton. I was going to say, I got a lot of stuff here. I mean, <clears throat> I mean. Not really. I've got nothing. I don't have all this stuff. I'm making sure that everyone is in survival. Thank you for lurking, Kate. I hope you have fun gardening. Oh, wait. I believe the furnaces still have their coal. Yep, 64. Nice. <laughs> oh, Are actually, we 63. ready? Yep. Ready, set. Yes. Go! I almost died for that shot. Okay, sing mode's over. All right, let's get going. Let's get going, okay. indeed. I'm gonna start on a farm. Oh, that's what I was gonna suggest. I do. Oh, sorry. It's really dangerous. Do you want to stay back? Yeah. Somebody right, do the farms. 
someone tell Suck that we're starting? Yep, I just did. I thought everyone heard the horn because I went over right next nope. to them. No, I didn't hear it. Okay, I I guess I thought it was a universal thing. No. Horn. I was listening for Louder, yeah. Yeah, it must not be that loud. I am off to collect dye. I already cheered him. I'm just gonna go off and explore. Yes, go look for some flowers, go look for... Wait, do we have shears? There's a black sheep right here. There should be shears, yeah. Yep. All right. In the chest. Yeah, I'll go get him. I got him. You will All not right. believe this. Oh, you got him. There's oh, a brown God. sheep. What? I got a brown sheep. There, I didn't get any- All right! I didn't get that black wool. Did you get it, Chrissy? I got it. It must have got to me. Where are you at, Alyssa? Red. Red is coming back to base. With the with the sheep? With the brown wool. Oh. I I see uh Sekhmet has found the fun in the Hershey mines. Yeah. Alright, I got blue dye. Great. So I'm gonna put it in the chest. All right, time to go explore. In fact, I think I'm just gonna get the skeletons. Hey, I don't like the barrier that Red put here because I can't get in to get the skeletons. Uh, you, you can, can break, break it. it. Can you break it? Yeah. No. Ow. I think that was the idea that you would break it. I don't have a pickaxe, so I just use my fists. Just did a wild man on it, huh? Oh gosh, they're bopping me all over the place like I'm at a party. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, right, I, 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 might go and... I got a little lucky, um, yeah. not having to go down there into the Hershey mines. Oh yeah, I guess we don't have to go down there. I feel like so I should go down there anyway, just to show it off. Is it just one, uh, yeah, you... one of each color? Yes, yeah. one of each yes. color. Yep, one of each. I know I saw a weird post out this way, so I'm gonna go check that out. Of course, I'm gonna jump on the trampoline first. Jump. We're gonna need cactus. All right. Oh, cactus for. I'm going. Yep. I I know. Well, I mean, I have I have insider information, but I'm going. I've got a yellow flower. Oh, you're already. Oh, I've, I've already got red, blue, and yellow. I've got the white, I got which red. I think is gray. Oh gosh, there's an LA. Or not an Where LA. did you get the blue at? Uh, cornflowers. Is that where Kira got it? Or yeah, probably. Oh, why Barry? didn't you bring back more than one? I did. I just have okay. one. Yeah. Is it okay if I take this bow? A bow? Okay. Sure. Okay. I was gonna go find some cat tie. I have it. <laughs> oh, you already got it. I All already right. have it. Fine. Well, tell him something to do. Um, don't tell him to go and get the vex. I'm gonna give you guys the die that I have to start making stuff, and then I'm gonna go okay. check out the chocolate mines. This is a scavenger hunt. We are hunting all of the kinds of uh, dye. I think we still need to go get an ink sack. What the I'm, heck? I'm in the witch's hut, but I can't get in. You can't get in? Am I not there supposed to get in? There's doors. There's doors. Oh, I found them. I don't know what I'm supposed to find in here. I know what you're supposed to find. There's a black kitty. Is that what I'm supposed to find? Uh, n yes, but there's something else. I'm sure that's it. I'm sure it's that. <laughs> there is something else. Oh, I know those are anvils. On the shelf, perhaps? There's, there's nothing except Ow. the geodes or amethysts or whatever they are. Then somebody else may have been there already. But they should only take one, right? There was only one there. Yeah, oh, yeah that happened earlier. We gotta get all up to keep them from sniping us. Welcome in, Fudge. <laughs>
There's a skeleton coming down to bully me. Oh gosh, I don't like that at all. Yeah, I could use... Uh, <laughs> the the uh, chocolate mines are not a nice place. No, I, I saw them all and I said, nope. Oh, jeez. Well, oh, no! Yeah, I saw some creepers. Well, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was obvious. He creeped up behind me. He sure did. And went kaboom. Zombie is dead. Oh, that one went kaboom. You know, there's a baby zombie after us. You know, it would really help if I had something. <gasps> ah, baby zombie, get it away! There's I'm a getting, uh, skeleton getting poking at me. So in the last one, we had said we could sleep, but I think we didn't really decide to do that this time. All these skeletons yeah, why don't we sleep? Don't we? we got sheep uh, leaving the area. Great, we need the sheep. Yes, it is. Fudge. It was easier to just die than keep going. Probably would be. <laughs> Alright. Ouch. What just hit me? Skeleton. Oh. Here's the stuff I got. For whatever good it does. We've got five colors up on the wall. What colors do we have? We can make purple. I have purple now. We can make yellow. Do we go, have yellow? Go ahead and make yellow. Okay. Do we have light gray? No. We need... Uh, we... I have... I didn't take it with me. We're waiting on some wool for that. We're, we got two wool. Where'd our wool. sheep go? Wait, where'd our sheep go? We have one. We lost one. We lost him. What? Yeah. Did we leave it to the skeleton? Probably. Oh gosh, we did! We just lost our second sheep! Oh no! Oh my god! Did the skeleton get it? Yeah! Yes! Maybe we should have slept the night. Uh, if somebody wants to give me shears, I will run around and shear every sheep I see in the wild. I got shears, I'm gonna go do it. Ah. Me! Not, not that I think I'm gonna see many sheep, but... Who else has shears? I do. Can I have I them? them? Yes. Keep farming, though. Farming Is there a rule against me? using the other no. team's sheep? No, but they might stop you. Okay. Does someone want to ask in chat if they want to sleep? I can't type quickly on my Switch. I can. very grammatically correct, but it's That's words. fine. It is words. In this context, I think it works. <laughs> What's required for bone mill? Besides oh, bones. Oh, there's some sheep. Welcome in, Mo. You just grind up the bone? Uh, yes. You just grind up the bone. With what? Um... Uh, in the crafting table. Yeah. You just like do a crafting Come recipe. Come on, eat the grass sheep. Eat it. I just gotta start gray wool. These sheep spawns are working in my favor, which works because we lost all of our sheep to skeletons. Come on. Well, there's there's two of them that are pretty close, but I can't get them back without any wheat. You I've got. Me? Um. Yeah. One sec. Got wheat. We have weed if you want right. to come back for it. I'm coming. I'm no, good at, I'm no good at leading them. Ah! No, don't fall in! Ah, I fell in now! This is really bad! 
We're having a bad time, I see. Like, we're supposed to be doing what? I'm gonna get yellow and orange wool. I can get yellow right now. I'm already doing it. Okay. Oh, see so you're blocking off the skeleton yep. dungeon. Nice. So we can get to them, but they don't get us as easy. Uh, the um, cactus should be done. All right, yep, that'll... I can make a green if you want. I need a green, a cyan, and a lime. Yep. So I don't know if I need a third cactus, actually. Oh, their sheep are still nice and alive. Yep. We sure did lose like our sheep. A... I'm making the light gray. Okay, I've got the green. Do I? I need some. What do you need? Some gray, but I can do this as your bonnet, I think, and get it. Yeah. How do you? How do we make? Oh, it's green and blue. I believe yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. Another blue, but we do. We need light blue. Ah, uh, yes, we do. Uh, but we have another corn flower. We have another corn flower. Okay, but I can't just mix the. Does the cactus green need to oh, make green I dye? It. I got green dye. I have light blue. I got it. Okay. You need it? Yes. Uh, let me get out of here so I can throw it to you. Um, God, I can't remember my. Q! 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 Yeah. I think I am gonna go- I'm gonna need another cactus if somebody wants to run. I got a cactus. Okay. I put it in the chest. Did you see it? I may have used it then. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to make Oh, green. somebody made the same color I did, I think. What color did you make? Green? Dang it! I, I didn't- I'm- I'm at a real loss without the, our sheep. <laughs> uh, you have the cyan? Cyan's up. Cyan is need... up. Yeah, we need oh, I need the green. light. I, I'll make the light green. I can do that. Okay. That's Come less on. bad than I thought wool? then. We don't have any wool. That's the issue. We need to go what get two we more. Have, we have seven. Then we're is fine. Enough? Yeah. Then we're fine. We're fine okay. yeah. We, we two need more two more colors. Uh, we need the magenta oh. and the pink. So you need red? No. I forget how to make red. magenta. Oh. Get out of here, Spider. Red and purple. Sorry. Nice. Whew. All right, who's gonna do it? I got pink. Okay. And what else do we need? Magenta. Which is? Red and purple, Mom said. All right, I'll do it. I think it's red and purple. I have purple and I have red. Try okay. it. Did I just do it? Well, we don't, I don't purple know what wool we're gonna need. And then nope, give- it doesn't. How do we make magenta? Pink. Pink and purple. Pink and- pink, red, and blue. Uh, we need one more cornflower. Can somebody go get a cornflower? Looking for it. Or bone meal the ground. I have purple right here if it's pink and purple. Uh, it's, pi it it's pink- I'll try it. So bone meal anywhere? Try it. Hold on. We got magenta. We did it? Oh yeah! I gotta get it up on the wall! Get it up on the wall so we can ding the bell! Why can't I ding the bell? There we go. I'm dinging away. Ding you guys dong! Guys me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, I can't say dong in my own Minecraft server. <laughs> nice. Uh, should we go back to the main channel or? Yeah, we can go back to the main channel. Okay. They were three away. We did good. Oh. We done good. Uh, yes, we will hop back into vibes now. GG, everyone. Woo! Mm. 
Hi everyone. I'm waiting for everyone to filter oh. back in. <laughs> we mocked you have there, Red. Ask him if their skeletons were trying to kill him all the time. Our yeah, skeletons um, killed. We didn't have any skeletons. That our... ended up being our problem. Uh, you yeah, didn't find your spawner? No, I thought it was underneath their house, but it was just an empty cave. Is this what? The, the spawner should be there? Someone broke, not. someone broke the spawner. A creeper blew up and broke the spawner. Oh my god! Right. There was also I'm like not... two skeletons in there. The rest was full of zombies. Oh wow! So, uh, so I might have found a. Go ahead. Found, um, a bunch of hay bales out in the wild, so we didn't really need to go mill the wheat. I grabbed yeah, a couple of them. Die, yeah. yeah. Well, that yeah. is really yeah. unfortunate. What, what, what is missing? Um, because oh, our sheep died. Uh, uh, the skeletons killed all of our sheep. Oh no! So we had to run out in the wild and shear every wild sheep that we could find. <laughs> Uh, Barry was even like, can we go shear their sheep? And I'm like, I feel like that's <laughs> cheating. It's like, what are we gonna do? So, I actually got stupid lucky, and we found a brown sheep in the wild. And I killed it. We found a black one, but I think we lost it again. <laughs> yeah, we lost it. Um, um I, I, came over to open. I did at least go down into the Hershey mines once to show people. Uh, who found the witch's hut first? I did. Oh, one of us. And you took the uh, yeah. wither rose? Yeah, I very, did. Very nice. I <laughs> dug my way into the cocoa mines because I got tired of dying. But yeah, those stupid little flying things are obnoxious. Enough. Yeah, the Vex are pretty obnoxious, huh? Yeah. And I mean, I didn't have a rule that was like, oh no, you can't break anything, because I, like, you have to break things. But there was yeah. a parkour designed to get you back up once you were down there. Oh, uh, I mean, I just yeah, died. So getting back was an impossible. So... <laughs> I I realize yeah. now I should have only done one egg in the spawner and not just and not four. I did at least cut it at four. But my issue then is that the vex or the illagers try to chase you out and they trigger the trap again and they spawn more as backup. And it's a little is excessive. That's why it got so crowded. Yeah, that's why it got so crowded. No one no one was in the side that I ended up digging down into. Uh, because no one had uh, triggered that trap. Interesting. I did. I, I just did. You just did. <laughs> I'm glad you found the trap. So I guess I just got really lucky with the way I jumped down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, uh, walking into the room with the chocolate was actually the way to uh, trigger the trap. Mm. There were some dispensers. Oh, thank you, uh, Dennis, for doing the shout out. I have been distracted. Well, GG. Well, we have we have sold a snake <laughs> in the army of sheep. Yes. <laughs> GG, and I'm sorry about your yep. spawner. I like. <sighs> part of me is like. What do we still well, need? Green <clears throat> and gray? What was our third one? We needed light spawn. green, light blue, and light blue. The regular gray. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. Savannah's team lost. I'm sorry. Hi, Boom. It's okay. We we won last time, so you, you did, and you guys still did a great job. Uh, I am sorry about the lack of skeletons, but we did leave it nighttime, so it would have still been possible to farm them, just harder. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, yeah, we were like literally. I was right to... <laughs> Go ahead. Like I walked, I walked right past two skeletons that were fighting each other near the end there, and I just couldn't find them again when like, yeah to see if they dropped anything. Gotcha. Um, our the room that ended, ended up filled with zombies and the skeletons that I killed didn't drop any. But that, at that point it was like bad. Yeah. Um, our issue was that our skeletons like literally killed all of our sheep. They kept, we even trapped them in to their dungeon so that they couldn't walk out and they could still like shoot at us from an angle and wild skeletons just killed all our sheep. And we didn't really have the time to try to play around and lure sheep in. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a vex flying around. Bastard. Little bastard. So do you guys want to keep same teams and switch over to shopping list? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, shopping list might take a little longer because I do not know what we're gonna roll. Also, um, do you usually play at bingo rules where you just need a, like you need a line or do you need to fill out your whole card to win? 
I mean, depends on what kind of thing. Like, blackout bingo is a specific type of bingo. That, that's so true. Full card is that, but otherwise, I think one line yeah. is fine. Okay. Yeah. Or if it goes too fast, we can say two lines or something like that. Yeah. Or maybe first to half card. Like, there's options. Yeah. There are options. I want easy difficulty, I think. I'll be just, shopping uh, list basically just cars. Are we ha do we have the same shopping list also? That's what I'm thinking I will do is um okay. actually I'm gonna make it very easy and we'll do blackout and we will both okay. that uh, sounds good. have it. Now where uh, are we, where are we gonna the put the items? Card. Yeah. How do we it is uh it's a bingo card that is five by five. Some of them are weird though. Like um Maybe I'll look into the options, because one of these is deplete a hoe, which, like, how are you going to prove that you did that? Right. Aside from putting an almost broken hoe up in the thing, uh, one of them is bounce on a bed, which, I mean, like, how are you going to prove to me you did that? Hmm? Yeah, that one's easy enough that I feel like you wouldn't really have to prove it necessarily. Like, that's a, like, the, Especially yeah. if you're doing blackout and not walkout. Like, if it was lockout, um, that would be tough, but... The deplete the hoe... Maybe just leave it at really low durability. Yeah. yeah. Let's see... How are, like, are we collecting the items anywhere? So that's what I think I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna set up a different bingo board in creative, um, in each person's pen, and then put up signposts so that we can do that. Of course, you can keep anything that you have collected already sweet well, we need so 18 bone guys I, I got the bone mill now <laughs> so <laughs> and then maybe this lead we got will randomly come in handy <laughs> probably you never know, you never know. listen when we get to the sheep dungeon i'm gonna be so far on top that it ain't even funny <laughs> uh, <laughs> sheep. Oh, so we're done. okay great <laughs> all right so this should be a five by five and I'm gonna put it like right outside of each person's pen. And then of course I'm gonna like put the um, the bingo card link in the Discord. Red, is that supposed to be five by five? It, I have a little- I'm making it pretty, okay? okay. <laughs> you can make it as pretty as you want. I will. Now, I hate to say it, but I feel like we should kill some of these sheep for meat. Because cookies aren't great. I can give us better food before we start. <laughs> I feel threatened. I'm being threatened by yeah. sheep. I, I think cookies I've gone through half a stack of cookies just by myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, that's just me with Oreos, though. <laughs> so it's realistic. Yes. <laughs> <Got> it. Two Oreos? That's just me. It would be a life decision if you were starving and needed Oreos. I believe uh, Snake is the sheep whisperer. <laughs> and I fear him and admire him for his power. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I did just accidentally blow up part of our house, but in my defense, the creeper started it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> So, now I've got to go fix Savannah's mess. This is fine. It's I know I, I picked up the blocks. I will do my do what I can to uh to fix it. Um, Here is uh, another question. Do you guys want to make a communal like we're gonna sleep every night rule? They're monsters, Chrissy. Uh, I'm down. It just the problem becomes like with if you're away from. 
the beds. It does become a problem, and then I would just say, like, ping in chat if you can't sleep, because I could see it then being... people wouldn't just sit there. I yeah. could see it being a form of griefing if, like, one team knows, hey, we're not going to sleep tonight, that the other team's all waiting yeah. in bed. So, yeah, we want to keep it... Uh, it just sounds good. There's a message in chat when... Um... Like, say sleep, and then if someone says, like, can't, that should be a clear indicator of everyone yeah. knows we're, we're staying up tonight. Hold it all nighter. Like, I could also give people beds, um, but I understand the danger of, like, setting I spawn, mean, and then... I don't think you need to give us beds. <laughs> Can we just make it so... We just specifically, yes, so if you guys... Turns out nighttime, you make it daytime again, Rodrigo? I could, if that's the preferred approach of just making it daytime and not utilizing nighttime at all, I can do that. I didn't know if there would be a reason for particularly wanting um, it night. It depends on the items. Like, it, we don't know. It, it matters yet. if we need to, gr to do stuff for mobs, I suppose. Yeah. Are there two people not sleeping? Yeah. I'm sleeping. Oh. My bad, I'm not. Six out of eight players sleeping. Sorry. That's fine. I'm sleeping. Wow. <laughs> uh, they have monsters nearby. I can't. Oh. Yeah. Boop. There we go. That works. Magic admin powers activate. <laughs> oh, you guys were throwing a slumber party with the zombies. <laughs> Look out. There is a creeper coming. Jeez. <laughs> Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Okay. So, I think I'm just going to use, it was pretty much the first very easy bingo card that I could find. Um, I'm also going to actually have to put a chest down because some of these are like, oh, this is 38 cobblestone. So it's like, you can't really just put down, you can put down a cobblestone in the slot, but then you would need to put 37 in the chest, you know? Mm-hmm. Now, are we able to choose the items that we've already collected? You are. Okay. I am realizing, though, um, one of the things on here is 16 snowballs, which, like, there isn't any snow on this peninsula. And I, I <laughs> see snow. It's a Distance uh, out. Whoops. So, uh... We can go on an adventure. It'll it'll make the game longer, or I could spawn a snow golem to just wander the land. That sounds scary. Does chat have a preference on venturing very, like, very far to go get snow, or, um, having it a bit closer? How do you collect? Is it just a bucket? How do you actually collect snow? For snow? Uh, it's 16 uh, snowballs, so yeah, you just need a shovel to hit it off the ground. Shovel. Okay. Uh, I find venturing a field. I might, yeah, that, like, that'd be cool. Like, whoever does that, that can also great. potentially, like, break a bed and take with them if they need to do Okay. So then, because- Or we can just craft a bed from the bajillion sheep. <laughs> <laughs> so, just- You know, I guess we could do that. For transparency's sake, since I see it, uh, red team and blue team on this yeah, furthest on this furthest yeah. corner near where the stable is if you go out behind in that direction desert. and behind the desert you can actually see an ice palace that our good buddy Azurago made Whoa. Um, my mom stumbled upon it and was like oh my yeah. gosh I have never seen this before do they do these spawn normally and I'm like no they don't <laughs> um, there is ice and snow in that direction so now everyone is on the same page and I believe everything else here is pretty easily doable except there's one that's crouched a distance of 97 meters so I'm oh, gonna... that's designed for that's designed for Java because Java tracks that so you have to oh. that or just not do yeah. that. I'm just gonna swap it. that out with something else. Okay. No, just, just call that a free spot. Or yeah, maybe, we'll, or just we'll, just do, yeah. we'll call yeah. that a free spot, because I think... Yeah. Wait, Maddie what? and I did bingo for my stream on this server. We ran that issue where it's, oh, this doesn't, this isn't tracked at Bedrock. Just in the There's also one that says never use a fishing rod. Um, That's maybe we right should. Here. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't. So 
I guess we'll have two free spaces, which is fine. Cause like, I like everything else on the card as a blackout bingo, so I kind of want to stick with it. Unless, unless you want to reverse it and say like, use a fishing rod. Use a fishing rod. That would work. You would just yeah. have a fishing rod that has at least some durability. Okay. Or like even yeah. just make a fishing rod. Or that you have a fish. You have a fish in it. Yeah. Yeah. You can punch fish is the thing. That's, that's true. But you could yeah, have one of those, you... like go fishing. And yeah, then you have to, just... like, show the fishing rod with it. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'm gonna, real quick, oh, take a... I tried, to, I tried to kill Arrow when I was killing the zombies. I'm so sorry I didn't see that. You just <laughs> noticed that? I just noticed <laughs> it. <laughs> I was busy killing zombies. Sorry. It's fine. I was trying to dive into it so to reset my hunger anyways. <laughs> All right, give me just a minute, because I'm here worrying about, like, oh, man, I can't, like, edit this link. And I'm like, just make a picture of the bingo card. <laughs> you absolute dingus. Speaking of resetting my hunger. <laughs> she got impaled. Nice. That's a colorful way to go. Aiming... I was aiming for the lava. I missed. <laughs> Did you land on a dripstone? So, what you're saying is you'd rather yeah. burn in lava than get impaled on a stalagmite. I honestly thought the lava would be faster. I did not realize that the stalagmite would be that quick. <laughs> <laughs> I think stalagmite did damage just based on distance. So, real quick, I'm just editing this card. This seems like it'll be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And then of course, like we do have other mini games that we can play. So if this takes a good chunk of time, then we can switch over. We've got the drip leaf spleef. We've got the lava wall. We've got the um, mini golf. If you've never played mini golf in Minecraft, it's fun. I have not. I haven't played mini golf in a hot minute. I made the course. I haven't done it in a while. Control the key bindings in this game. <laughs> How does that mini golf even work? Like with Ender Pearls? Or? No, um, though I have the I other game it's... I've seen is Thread the Needle, where you like you are like throwing yourself through the course. Uh, it's snowballs, and you press Q to like drop it, and it slides along the ice. Oh, fun! It's, yeah, it's just using items as the vocals. as the ball. I really wish that I could rebind shield to a different button than crouch. Okay. Here is our bingo. I'm going to post it in the uh, Cirrus SMP channel, which is our Minecraft channel. Is it going to be in the, uh, in the thread or just in the generic uh, channel? Just in the generic channel. Okay. I wish I could just like at people who are currently in the voice chat, but it is it is there. It's below the um, head count. Okay. Right. There we go. Let me see if I can pull this up on stream too. Maybe. Also, I'm sorry. I have not been reading chat. So, do you want to start? Are you putting stuff or putting stuff in the the item frames? Yes. For... Okay. So. The free I'll space. Put to, yeah, just put something random in the free space and. We'll call it good. Okay. Well, and then we're also calling... So we're gonna do use a fishing rod? Rather than... No, I changed it to fish, I think. Like, oh, just... uh, get a puffer fish. Uh oh, okay. What do we do for deplete a hoe now? Uh, put a used hoe, or like an almost broken hoe. Almost used. Yeah. How do we show up like that we hung up a painting, or is it just get a painting? Just get a painting. I tried to edit some of those weird ones, but I missed a couple. Yeah, I like to change the text on a sign, the color. You can break the frame and put a colored sign up instead. 
Okay. Because I'm pretty sure we all probably have some dye at our disposal. <laughs> <laughs> Just maybe yeah. we have some dye. <laughs> yeah. Was there another brick on the free space, or do we just modify it? So I just uh, put the free space in the middle. Okay. And then if you want, you can actually just break the frame there. Like, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if I'm necessarily being picky about, like, where everything is on the list, but it'll be easier to compare to. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna actually pull the bingo card up on my overlay so that chat can see what we're doing. Because that sounds like a smart idea for a streamer to do. Do we want to break into our chats? Uh, we or, probably or we probably or can. Did you, did you guys say that you did not hear my horn at all? No. Okay. Nope. That's weird because I, I, was, I was on the slime trampoline right behind you guys. Huh. We and I made sure to turn my it. volume up all the way too, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll do fireworks then. Okay. And sure. I'll like do them in oh. between... Uh, the two of us. Oops. Um, should we, should we break out into chat for into separate groups for this? We will, yeah. Okay. I'm just so... moving some stuff around on my overlay. Is that redstone dust we're looking for? What does it say? It just says redstone. redstone. I'm gonna presume yeah. dust then, yeah. Okay. Hmm, not great. I guess we'll go top corner. Three Doritos. Who's got <laughs> Doritos? Doritos. <laughs> Who's trying to find Doritos? <laughs> Die right. <laughs> Let's all get ready to go into bed because it's uh, sunset. That way. Oh, did we say we wanted uh, better food, or were we gonna just? Uh, no, that would be great. <laughs> that would be really nice. Yeah. Yeah, give us some snacks or something. I can't rest their monsters. It's probably because we're above the skeleton dungeon, honestly. Yeah, so we'll never be able to sleep. All of blue team house. is asleep. All of red team is up. Yep. We can't sleep, guys. Great, you did. There we go. Nice. Alright. Four stacks of bread, one stack for each person. That feels like enough. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just need to get some yeah. fireworks. The sheep are escaping. Well, me. Okay, now I think we're at a good point where we can break off into uh, other voice chats and I will stand in between the zones and shoot off a firework. But I am gonna take a quick like two minute bio break before we start that. Okay, sounds good. We can start strategizing. Yep. Enjoy your strategization. Do you guys want me to leave up um, chats or leave up Discord so that whoever's watching the stream can hear you guys strategize? That's fine. Alrighty, and I will uh, be right back. Sorry, I didn't hear that. If you myself. were saying something. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Switch she was headphones. saying, did, did we want her to let up? Um... Discord so the chat could hear us strategizing, but I'm like, I'm here by myself. There's really no strategy. <laughs> hey, the strategy is it's really hard for me to switch back and forth from playing and looking at the bingo card. Oh, so I if have... somebody would just give me something and tell me what to do. That would be okay. Great. Why don't you somebody do... would say, you go get the cobblestone? Yeah. You get a. Yeah. How about you start off with a campfire, and then you work on getting an apple. 
And while you're getting the apple, why don't you use a hoe for the leaves, and that will help deplete the hoe. Okay, so then I need to make a hoe. Yep. And an axe. You just need an apple, so really you don't need an axe. To I mean, make fire? Oh, yes. I mean, will. I can punch I can punch a tree. But... Yeah. So campfire, apple, and deplete a hoe is what you'll start on. I'm thinking that I'll probably do some of the block ones, like the 38 cobblestone, the diorite, the granite, that sort of thing. Okay, so mine's get an apple, make a campfire, deplete the hoe. Yep. Okay. Whenever everybody's, I don't yeah, know. If, whenever everybody gets back, we'll tell them. Is Blaze back? Is that what he goes by, Blaze? I think he does, but no, he hasn't said anything, and he's not moving, so I don't think he's back. Okay. He went to get a drink. Yeah. All right. Sorry he's about back. that, guys. Had to hydrate. You're That's good, fine. and I'm also back. So we were just saying. Chrissy is going to work on campfire, apple, and deplete a hoe. Okay. And I'm I'm happy to start on the block ones, like the cobblestone, the granite, the diorite, and the, um, what else do I see? The dirt. I was going to go mining, I think. Okay, so why don't... Because we'll need charcoal, we'll need a diamond, we'll need some iron for a stone cutter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the redstone. I could, still get the, I could still get the dirt and stuff like that. Yes. And you could still get the cobblestone and the diorite because you probably won't need to come like that That's, deep for it. Yeah. And actually that deep, you won't get granite and diorite and things like that. Oh, gotcha. In fact, you might actually want to look up a guide. I don't know where redstone spawns anymore. I don't either, but I I feel like I'm okay to just kind of let it happen, you know? Yeah. Also, let me type something in chat because I do know where redstone is. There is redstone wiring in the Hershey mines, and I'm calling that off limits. Okay. Because that would be, like, I, I didn't want the other team to have maybe already had a piece of redstone from there, and I also didn't right. want me to use that insider knowledge. Are we ready to start? I do have one question. What is your question? Start. In our sleeping chambers, there's a chest that has a whole bunch of junk in it. I think I think that was just an artifact of being left over from when I copied and pasted it. Yeah, so I wasn't sure whether we wanted that stuff to be available. We do not. That's what I thought. So that stuff is off limits. Well, does the other team have the same chest? I don't think so, but I will check. Okay. Because they'll need to know that that's... I mean, unless you just want to yeah, say cause... things and chests are off limits. Not in, not in bedrock. Puffers can be found anywhere. Yeah, they can. Are you absolutely certain? I get them all the time. Yeah, you can fish them up did, all, anywhere. Did they change it is what I'm asking. No, I don't think the so. The wild update could have changed I it. I can't say for sure it did, but. I thought it was just Why don't we fishing. just say that a fish you know, catch a fish with a fishing rod and we're gonna take people's word that they didn't go punch it. Because puffer fish is one of the things. Oh, but it doesn't have to be. That's what I'm saying. We're changing puffer fish to any fish. Okay. Hey, also, there's a painting out in the water. A what? <laughs> painting? Like somebody threw it out of their pockets? Just... It's an it's an item frame. It's fine. Okay, an item frame. It's fine. If it were All a right. painting, I would get rid of it, but it's an item frame. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, then we're ready. Yep, we're, we're all ready. ready. You came ready and they're like, we were already playing. No, because yeah. I, I will shoot off the fireworks. <laughs> I gotta plug in my switch before it dies. I'll give you a second to do that before we start then. I'm good, I'm ready. All right. In three, two, one, go. All right, I'm gonna start with the bed. So I need, saw it. We need some wood. Did you make a bed? I'm going to get tree. Yep, we right all need now. some wood. I'm, I'm punching a tree now. I don't actually have an axe. I don't know who does have it. Oh, I see kelp this way, so I'm gonna. I, I can't kelp myself. I'm gonna get. Ha <laughs> ha! Go Sorry, get your kelp. Horrible. That was pretty bad. We might get an apple from this tree, Mom. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, did you hear the things that I was gonna look for? Uh, a couple of them, yeah. Okay. Just wasn't sure if you were available for that. I'm gonna start trying to fill out the, the very bottom row of the uh, bingo. Okay. I'm gonna go after the diamond. Alrighty. I got the kelp. All of it? Um, I don't know how much I need. 54. 54? Yep, so just grab a stack got and then it. put the extra in the chest. Yep, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna drown and die. That's not a bad idea. Kill me, drowned! Kill me! Come on, you can go faster than that. Chat, we are in the middle of a game at the moment, but if you have Bedrock Minecraft and you would like to play, you can do exclamation mark server and you can get in on uh, the next game we do. So just let that uh, go and we'll see if we get anything good from it. Let's see, where's the kelp go? There it is. All right, and I got the bed too. Okay. Nice. I'll probably end up with the cobblestone here real quick while I'm mining. Okay, I need sticks. There's a lot of ravines in this area. And it looks like it is getting near bedtime. Do we want to sleep or do we want to stay up? I'm fine to stay up. Okay. Yes, it does. What does? Time total, what does? Oh, I, I didn't know I said what does anything. <laughs> you did. <laughs> out of nowhere, out of nowhere, you were like, yes, it does. I got an is done. Is it dyed? Yes. Very nice. Which one's that? The dyed sign. Sign. Oh, okay. I'm coming back with the apple. I need some coal for some torches. Are we sleeping tonight or not? I'm out and about. Okay. Oh, the boat. So I could, but it would. I'd have to come back or die. All right, where does the apple go? There it is. Someone's gonna need to run out to the snow biome to get the snowballs. Um, I don't remember where that was. Out near the ice. I didn't know where the ice was. Did you not hear me explain yeah, where it was? I wasn't watching the, the chat. <laughs> Uh, if you, it's out in the direction of the, um, the desert with where the cactus was. Stable. Yeah. Do we need diorite or is it just granite? No, we do need diorite. Oh, creeper exploded. Excellent. Hey, I got the dirt. How many dirt do we need? I'm looking 39. I got 19 already just from that stupid creeper. Oh, oh I have 13. My game crashed. I can't So open. then we got that. Your game crashed? Here, oh. uh... Yeah. 
It didn't say you left yet. Well, now I'm good, except for the, um... Yeah, not yet. We have a zombie infestation. You sure yeah, do. Now I'm dead. I still haven't found any coal for torches, so I'm very sorry about how dark and dreary this is to my viewers. There's um straight out from our sleeping, there's um what's it called? Shoot. Gravel. Okay. Does that help at all? With uh tor with coal? No, not necessarily. Alright. Yeah, but what about torches? How is how's gravel gonna give me a torch? I, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Remember, I haven't played this game for. You haven't I'm played not... in a little bit, yeah. I got a granite pocket here too, so I'm gonna get the granite and the diorite. Don't be too worried about not playing the most. It's been longer for me, I think. <laughs> you don't have well, to like... play every day to be a true Minecraft fan. I'm gonna get the sticks. And the, put only on. I'm, the only thing I'm good at is redstone. I know that I'm not very good. <laughs> good is subjective. Time. All right, I'm gonna explore because the paper I think might be one of the hardest. It you need to find might. E yeah, you do. So I'm gonna go exploring for some of that. I don't remember if there were any reeds to be found uh, near the spruce trees. I'm just- I'm just following the shore. Okay. So... I oh, I see some. Granite. Die. How much granite? 27 granite. So two more granite. So that's the granite done. The diorite, I need 23. I have enough of that. Oh, the sticks already done? Yep. Barry just did the sticks, yeah. Oh, oops, I was watching this for no reason, then. That's alright. Alright, um... It'll be helpful for tools. It will. Alrighty. We need 38 cobble. And then we need, um, some stone as well. Do we need gravel? Mm, don't think so. But don't quote me on that. I've got the picture up on my other monitor. Just so that I can keep a good track of it. No, we do not need gravel. Here's a spider for some string. Oh, that's good. That's really helpful. Yep, someone a snake is fighting off some spiders. Here's a creeper. Yep, I got two strings, so we can do the fishing. Found some coal. Oh, why would he do that? He killed Tony. Everyone's having a time. Either that or they're dying on purpose, which is my guess. Yeah. All right, finally got torches so I can be useful. I saw fill a composter, so I made one, and I'm <clears throat> changing out the seeds. Just use the wheat, yeah. That's what I mean. Yep. Yeah. Adding in the wheat, putting down the wood. Planting more. All right, I got the fishing rod, and I'll go out and fish then. Sounds good. I uh, wood? mistakenly. Oak. I can do that. I mistakenly did not bring any food. I'm near death. Oh, are you going for snowballs? No, I am. I am currently going for diamond slash like the different kinds of rocks. So cobble, uh, smooth stone. I haven't found any iron. Iron isn't is not deep anymore. I'm not that deep. Iron is like mountains. Iron and coal. So like, it's high. Yeah, it's high. I see. 
Did you do the campfire yet, Chrissy? Chrissy, did you do the campfire yet? No, I have no way to get charcoal. Alright, I'm making some right now. You make charcoal with wood. No, well, somebody could have told me that. It's alright. Hey, what just I didn't hit me? remember that. Scully. What's hitting me? Oh, there's a Scully. Oh, Scully! I've got, I've got nothing to fight him with. So, uh, what I things are people not sure. getting? I don't want to go up to some of these some things already. Uh, the milk bucket. We, we need, need iron for the milk bucket. Okay, so I'm going to go after some iron. Then. Yeah. I'm like working on iron slowly, but haven't found any yet. So the, honestly, having two people go after iron is still a pretty good idea. I think that's a great idea. Oh, I need two. Here I am with one heart left. Well, that's not good. No. Okay, I'm gonna make the wooden hoe, because the hoe was my job, too. There's some copper. Alright, I got the paper, because we just needed two. So okay. the paper's done. Um, the bed is done. We need the stone and the cobblestone. We need a painting. Well, we can do painting. We got plenty of wool. Hello, creeper. Oh, I thought it was back yeah. far enough. That's fine. I wanted to die. Got you home faster. It did. So do we have any, um, like, is there a mountainous area here? I don't for know. For iron? Or like, would this hill count to dig around in? The hoe would be better, I think. For what, iron? The hoe? Yeah, the who, hill. Who took all the bread? Oh, hill. I only Not took me, one I stack. only took one stack. I took a stack. Oh, he, there is a stack. I am being silly. What is hitting me? Oh my gosh, how'd that zombie get in here? Die or right? They're pretty darn smart. Well, yeah, like how in the world did it do it? All right, I'm gonna go fishing. I'm gonna get this hoe worn down. So, how are we verifying that again? Uh, we're just putting, we're just putting the broken hoe in. Oh, okay. So, I only made a wood one because they don't take as much to wear down. That sounds like a good plan to me. I mean, you get what I mean, right? We yeah. don't want to use the nether right though. No. That would take forever. It would. I'm dropping off stuff that I don't think I need. And hoping that you guys will use it as you see fit while I go try to find some iron. Okay. I'm going to go down in the Hershey mines and maybe regret it. Probably. <laughs> digging elsewhere. Yeah, you really... I th Actually, I thought I saw a place like this. You really want to go to um, Extreme Hills. Yeah. That's where you'll find a lot of coal and iron that's exposed. Okay. Sorry, I just almost used the hoe too far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to look at it. Um... Blaze, if you don't have anything you're working on and you want oh. to go after um, the snow, or did we already get that? We did not. We could do I was, that. I, I was going for iron too, but I can go for snow if you want. E either is fine. You also might find some snow or some iron over there because it's mountainous. Okay. Didn't we say that the puffer fish can you is tell just me a which fish? Block yes. Which number to put the hoe in. Yes, yes, I can. Just a fish. Um, I have to find it though. It's right above the free. Right above the free. Okay. All right, there I'm go. going to go mining. Oh, let me check the stone out. Found a lot of coal here. Wow, yeah, we need I a lot of cobblestone. But we have all the cobblestone. Diorite. Okay, the diorite. We have oh, all the diorite. We have all the granite. How can you not put in it. You are. Never mind. How can you not look in? No, I was mm. wondering why it was in both chests and not just in one chest. We need charcoal, so I'm gonna make chop down cheese. 
already did it. All right, I got a lot of trees. Okay, then. Yeah. Wait, how much charcoal do we? Um, just three, so I think, 12. for. Twelve. Twelve. So put twelve. 12. One of them. Twelve of the actual twelve wood. Not... Oh yeah, not the planks. Gotcha. And then let's work on the um. Oh wow, they're done. What? How did they get a diamond? I'd love to know, because I feel like we're not that close. All right, I'm gonna no, die. Diamonds, snowballs, milk bucket. Hmm. Nope. Good for them. Yeah, I would love to know how they got the diamond so fast, because we struggled with the iron. Something fierce. Yeah. Dang. We'll hop back in the vibes. Hello. Hi. Hey there. So, um, how? I would like to know. <laughs> By gaming, <laughs> obviously. The, the diamond like, and the iron was where we were stuck. I just yeah, dipped, I dipped into a cave, like, and then got everything absurdly quickly. Arrow wow. is the professional slunker, clearly. Wow, yeah, clearly. We have our profi here. Very nice. Very nice, nice indeed. It is a nice sign you've got there. <laughs> I don't know that- I think we had a lot of components, but we were struggling to put stuff together. Yeah. Um, like, I- I don't know that we had everything that we had up on the board, but yeah, I was down in a cave for quite some time getting, like, the, uh, cobblestone and the diorite and whatnot, and then I started yeah. trying to look for diamond and iron, and I just found nothing. We were actually- uh, I was entering a new ravine to try again, and that's when you guys said, we're done! I the ravine I entered had um, I'm visible like as pretty wow. much as soon as I hit near bottom. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, which one was it? Was it the one uh, with uh, like stone brick fencing around it? No, it was the one next to the like the one down there next to the, the witch's house. There was, yeah. Okay, that's actually where I just went to enter. Dang it! Hey. I clearly picked Korea, the wrong you, way. Did you, the, did you fill the default furnace with uh, charcoal on purpose? Like, that was a good, <laughs> easy... I think you guys place. had a charcoal-filled furnace and we didn't, so that also was a little yeah. unfortunate. That's how it was set up for the original Rainbow Race, but I, for some reason, like, they either moved the charcoal into their chest, and then I erased all of the chests, so, oh well. We did just have charcoal. Very nice. And well played. Um, yeah, it worked out. I crafted a boat and grabbed some sugarcane on the way to get snow, on the way killed a sheep, and on my back got kelp. So, wow. Very yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah, like I was, like the surface stone was over there, and like yeah. they saw, once I got done with that, I saw the ravine and I just dived in. And Very it nice. And everything for me. <laughs> Our cave is loud. Well, so that's one red team, one blue team. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. We hey, don't forget the blue team won last time as well. So that, that's yeah. true, yeah, but it's different. Blue two, red one. Thank you very much. I don't know about that. It's different teams this time. <laughs> uh, uh, Dennis and I are in the same team, and that's enough of a commonality that I think I'm we should blue team. Yeah. Yeah. You're, ju you're just throwing you my sister, un un you're you're throwing my so sister under the bus. Mean. So Dennis mean. <laughs> Well, do you guys want to take a break from this and start playing some other mini games instead of going in? Like, I could randomly generate another card, but I'm also not sure what resources in the area are like depleted or not. I'm gonna do a, a different mini game. Yeah. yeah, I'm happy to do a different one. All right, everyone, pile back this way towards the warp pipe. Oh, I will be stepping out here because, you know, time zone, it is 2 a.m. here. Oh, oh God. God. Goodness. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for playing. Yeah, yeah. thank you thank for you playing. So much. Oh, I need to see some more wins. <laughs> Have a good night, Dennis. You. I'll win in your name. Bye-bye. Have a good night. All right. So the next game that we can do... Um, would actually be Lava Wall. 
which is going to be back here at um cirrus castle at what cirrus castle cirrus castle Can yes you keep flipping out for me are you all following me yes yeah. yep as long as we have a train of people following me we should be fine ring the bell <laughs> I'm still so holding onto my spare diamond. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I even think that I was setting up that, like, the fencing around that ravine, and I noticed the diamond, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And, um, I didn't even think about it when I was playing, because I still couldn't find iron, and I was like, how, well, so you had to have found and mined the iron to get an iron pickaxe, right? Yeah. To right. get the diamond, because I couldn't even do that. Yeah. Like. But well played. GG's. Yeah, I think, I mean, just insane digging. I think <laughs> really got the same. Like, it also helped that I think most of us were, like, respawn, like, just deciding to respawn each time we were, there was a lull in our, um, Play. Fast travel be a death. Yeah. Welcome back, mom. Thanks. All right. So this is lava wall. You can kind of get a good sense of the battlefield here. And really, the way this game operates is that it's kind of like battleship, except you're not like calling out numbers and hoping you hit. You're shooting arrows through the lava and hoping you hit. <laughs> um. I think I watched you and your mom do this at some point. We, there's going to be a certain number of wool pieces that you have to place somewhere within the, uh, like, entrenched area on your map. That mm -hmm. way you can't, like, hide it behind anything, if that makes sense. However, right. you can spawn in trees. You can grow trees and place wood as barricades. However, we're calling it that if any of your wool flag gets hit, it has to burn. You cannot put it out. Okay. So we will separate into two teams. Uh, I might spectate this time because we have an odd number. Unless somebody when you else. You say wool flag. Are you, sorry, are you placing individual wool pieces like Battleship or one? Yes, yes you are. Um, okay. I'm trying to so remember... Not, they don't have to be connected? They don't all have to be connected. See, that's where okay. I kind of ran into an issue, because obviously I don't want, like, five different individual wool pieces, because this could last right. a while. I was thinking that it would be... You uh, used to rules. A flag three, of one, one, two, one, one. That's what I was thinking. One, two, and three. Yeah. I, I'm honestly... You said battleship rules, but I'm just thinking of the uh, Wind Waker. Sploosh. 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 Kaboom. Kaboom. <laughs> Also, Snake has found that you can cross over to the other team. Don't do that. He's cheating. I don't cheap. even know how you get in. Uh, there's stairs on top. Wait, on top? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, oh. I mean, I haven't assigned teams yet, but feel free to look around the battlefield. And then, is everyone yep. who's Good currently... News, guys. The lava does work, I checked. <laughs> is, is everyone uh, interested in playing around, or does someone want to sit out? Um, are we getting our inventory, I assume? You will be, yes. I can- I can automatically clear everyone's pockets, so if you're ready- Or, I can chuck anything- everything into the lava, also. Yeah, but I could just do that, too. Aww. Oh, but what I was gonna food? chuck every single thing. Um, I'm gonna put food in the chests for each team. I haven't, okay. like, I mean, fully- If I respawn points right outside, there's only another team. That's true. I'll also need team. So yes, go ahead and set your well. You can set your spawn a while, but it will. Ah. Mom, did you want to play? I don't have to. Cause like I could get. I'm a, happy to be your spectator. I could get a good. Why don't we do you play uh, the first round so I can watch and figure out if I need to change any of the rules. That like, helps since you're streaming. So it, you it does, yeah. And, and then I will. Um, and then I will play around. <laughs> Wee. I was gonna say we should have made that a little bit there. <laughs> I did not die the first time like I thought it was going to. 
Oh no, I started something. It's, it's the trampoline all over again. Oh no, everyone's just gonna throw themselves into the lava. Ad infinitum. Yep. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> this is fine. We... Do you wanna do the same teams? Because if Dennis left and you left, that still keeps me even. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. I'm just filling um, the barrels now with some gear. And a stack, so who, of, stack of bread for everyone. You should decide which, uh, whether blue is white or blue and, or black. And yeah, which side? Vice versa. For... Uh, let's say that red team is now a uh, white team. Okay. Just for the sake of ease. Did did one. someone take the wool already? Right? No, it's here. Okay, we're good. I am trying to fill just a single barrel with your flags and your food. And then there will probably be another barrel with um, arrows. Yeah, so how does this and, actually work? Like, I know these are shooter things, but... So they're gonna have blazed flame charges in them. Okay. Like, it's probably a stack in each, and then you hit the button, and it yeets it through. And if I just hit someone, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I think you did. So, everyone, <laughs> each team... <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, oh, I can get rid of the, the bingo card. Just because it's blocking my overlay a little bit. So. Each team gets three cannons. You can move the cannons, so I will give you a pickaxe to move them. You cannot break any of the actual battlefield, please. Um, do you, do you guys think that, uh, armor would be good for this? Because it's arrow combat Matters. and fire. I, I mean, because our respawn point is so close, I don't really think it matters too much if we die. Okay. I am filling these, I I'm filling these trenches with water so that you have a way to, like, try to unignite yourself. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a good idea. That's what you're gonna be put out. So, uh, Thank you. <laughs> the, uh, the game ends once, uh, your team's goal is completely gone. Completely gone. So all six pieces must be gone. Um, I will say, you can put the wool in the air. You just have to, like, get it up there yourself. Yeah. If that makes sense. And, like, you only get, like, I want to say 30 seconds to put all your wool down. So that's going to be a thing. You didn't fill up all the dispensers yet, did you? Nope. Okay. <laughs> What's it called? Fire, fire charge. That's what it's called. I'm probably oh. gonna need a backup barrel filled with fire charges. You said something about growing trees? Does yes. that mean we get seeds and bone meal? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sekma, can I put you in creative and you can help me uh, get some of the barrels set up? Sure. I'm special. You are special. Uh, a, a barrel just completely filled with flame charges, like an empty barrel just filled with flame charges, and then probably one filled with arrows. Uh, and she And there goes Snake. Um, the dispensers launch. What are they? I guess what are the arrows for? If you play? Uh, arrows are for you. So you get a. Okay. Each person gets a bow. Okay. And they can also, cause the uh, the flame charges are very inaccurate. Okay. And that's why, like, you can move your dispensers anywhere, and each team is gonna get a diamond pickaxe so that they can move their dispenser around freely. 
So I suppose if you don't get down all of your wool in the first 30 seconds, then you can't put them down later. I'm gonna say yes, so that if you're taking your time trying to hide your wool somewhere clever, whatever's not down, you're just down that as a disadvantage. Okay. okay. That makes sense. Hi, Lady of Chaos. Yeah, we actually hit 600 this stream. And I have been like too busy to call attention to it. Okay, arrows, one, one barrel full of arrows, one barrel full of fire charges. Yes. And then, Three um, stacks of red in the wool. There should probably oh, be uh, another chest with a diamond pickaxe if you can put uh, yes. three bows in that chest. Just regular bows? Yep. So, and what about? Uh, sorry, go ahead. What about arrows? Uh, you're getting a whole, bowl, a whole barrel full of arrows. I'm working on it. I'm one oh. person. <laughs> Oh, um, oh, I was just gonna say, what, what are the legal areas that you can put the wool in? Uh, it's the trench Inside area. Inside the water trench. Inside definitely. the water trench. It can go up as high as you want, but you only have a limited amount of time to put your wool down. And if you do not get it down in that amount of time, you are you are at a disadvantage then. Okay, so anywhere in this in this trench right here. Yep. In the square. Yeah, inside the square. And it has to be, um... I'm, I'm sorry, you were poked enough by a sweet berry bush? Arrow, what are you doing? Delicious. <laughs> Delicious death. <laughs> I was been doing that for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen that before. They do such little damage, you have to really try to get killed by them. And then it yes. Helps when jumping off next to them deals most of the damage for you. Yeah. Uh, do you guys? I'm thinking we do birch trees just because uh, we've got a whole black and white theme to this arena. Yeah, and, and you also don't get gigantic trees. Yes, because okay. gigantic trees uh, are not fun. So no dark oak. <laughs> yes. How many uh, trees? Uh, I, right now I've done. trees? Let's do four stacks of saplings and four stacks of bone meal. Okay. But yes, welcome in chaos. Thank you for doing the shout out fudge. And then your goal would be to, um, try to place and bone mill your trees as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, I might need um, axes. That's one thing I didn't think about. Can you place the trees oh, any time yes. during the game? Yes, you can keep growing wood and placing barriers, but they're made of wood, so they burn. Yeah. Um, let's give each team two netherite axes because you're not doing melee combat so really it's just okay. for speed of chopping down the wood so one diamond pickaxe three regular bows two netherite axes yes that sounds reasonable to me yeah yes this is uh we're doing setup for lava wall we're about to get started um teams make sure you have slept in your respective team bed so that you can respawn yes. Okay, so red is white. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Red is white team. Yes. Blue is black team. And I Wait, will I be again. spectating because the queer note dropped out. We do still have room for more people to join in. I'm waiting to observe around to make sure that the rules are fair and to make also make sure that like the game runs along at a decent enough pace. So Again, to reiterate, each team has six pieces of wool. We are playing battleship rules where you need a ship of one, two, and three. The ships must be placed within your trench of water. You have, let's say, a minute to set up your board and start growing trees if you would like. And then once the minute is up, arrows and fire charges will start to fly and you're gonna keep trying to protect your trees and shoot arrows at the other team okay and all of our dispensers are starting with a full stack of yes 
fire charges. Does anybody okay. have any and questions? Should we have nothing in our pockets? Yes, you should start should with nothing. we have nothing. nothing in our pockets now? Correct. Empty your pockets. You shouldn't have anything left over from the other game because no, I cleared. I but you may have already started taking some of the stuff. Yeah, I had noticed it and was making sure. We need one more to sleep. Sorry, me. I... <laughs> My spirit diamond's still around. <laughs> oh no, you've hidden it! That's okay. <laughs> I don't think it'll help you. It can't help you here. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, I, I decorated our side with blue banners because blue team's the best, anyways. Um, so, so wow. I hope the ba <laughs> I hope the banners burn. I mean, they're in they're in the sleeping area, so they're not gonna. Burn. Okay. Are you ready to go back into survival mode segment? Yes. I just wanted to make sure you weren't like in the middle of the air or anything. That'll be funny, and in fact, I'm gonna kill myself anyways to get my hunger and health back up. Fair. So it wouldn't have mattered, but. Chaos, if you would like to join, um, we're gonna run a game first to, to test and see how it goes. And then if you wanna join, I can hop in as well. And then we can have teams of four. Are we ready? Every ready. Players? Are we going to play do you think? Uh, we will be. Players uh, report to your um, your bed areas. Yes. And then, uh, uh... Chat, go to bed! <laughs> you may break off into your individual, uh, team channels. Right. Red team is white, blue team is black. Alrighty. Ta -ta. And I, t text it, type in chat when you are both ready, and I will start with fireworks and type to you. Sounds good. We'll figure it out. Uh, how are you guys doing, chat? Uh, it's funny because I keep calling the people who are playing with me chat, but then like chat is also chat. You're all chat. You are all chat to me. We had a really great time earlier. Uh, my team won the rainbow race and then we lost the shopping list really, really badly. Like, I could not find a single piece of iron, or... Uh, I couldn't find a single piece of iron, or diamond, or redstone, because, I mean, I couldn't find iron. Hi, what's up? Uh, Barry said there was an issue, so I wanted her to come here to tell me what it was. Oh, not all of us. <laughs> I mean, you're fine, I just, I, I don't know what her okay. issue is. Okay, back in vibes. What's Barry's issue? <laughs> I, I meant for Barry to come to Vibes to tell me what the issue was. Well, you didn't specify that. I didn't, so... but what's the issue? It's a we Discord. Right. Oh, Barry said in... Yeah, it's, it's, Discord it's issues. Discord issues. So she's lost the Discord channel. Okay, you guys are free to go back to your teams. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. I lost a follower during this stream. Probably one of those bots from like forever ago. So I guess teams are trying to come up with their own uh, strategies and I don't want to listen in on them because I want to be able to experience this all <clears throat> as an outsider. but I think this is gonna be fun. You've gotta love the lava wall.
and then I actually have a timer set for one minute. And I will also get a bell. Because why not? Cheaters. White team, are you ready? Ready. Set. Timer's going for a minute, guys. And they're off. Remember, you only have a minute to place your wool. Twenty five seconds. <laughs> I see Barry just like barfing out an entire bit of uh, wood there. <laughs> Three, two, one. Why won't it ring? <laughs> Carnage begins. They may start shooting. Do fire tick has been updated to true. So look out. Sorry, I have a bug in here. I can't tell if uh, a flag has already been taken out. It looks like there's a second flag burning on white team. This is going pretty quick. Black team still has all three flags intact. White team has one flag remaining. You may stop your trees from burning, you just may not stop your flags. White team better start making some defenses for their last remaining flag. I also hope no one is uh, stream sniping, but I'm not telling you where it is. I guess I'm showing you where it is. All right, that it looks like one of uh, the black team's flags are gone. A second one almost went out there, actually. But technically, the wool was not on fire. 
They still have a flag remaining. This is intense. See, my issue is I don't know if like getting the last flag for either team is going to uh, take super long. But I did notice that um, white team had kind of like completely encased their one flag with wood, which means once the wood goes, the flag is not salvageable. See, I mean, that is also why the trench is filled with water so that you may um, douse yourself if you are so inclined. But hey, dying might be fun too. They still have their one flag protected. <laughs> Barry was slain by small fireball, excuse me? I've never seen that. Better build some defenses up. Welcome in, Nat. It's good to see you. We're playing some Minecraft mini games. Right now we are playing Lava Wall, which is essentially um, Battleship, but like a 3D Battleship that you play instead of just guessing numbers. Lava Wall. The white team has one flag left. The black team has two flags left. Arrow Bounce has left the game. I hope they will return. We've got two teams of three, and um, if anyone else wants to hop in, they are more than welcome to, and then I can hop in for a match, or my mom is going to sit out the next one. <laughs> So yes, they can also uh, grow trees as um, wooden defenses for their flags, but of course there is a risk of doing that. Black team is doing a pretty good job protecting their uh, last flag. I don't know that I've seen much of the fire charges being used, but the fire charge uh, is very inaccurate. It's got such a wide spread to it that you really don't know what you're going to hit. They have plenty of arrows. They've got plenty of fire charges. It seems as though uh, Black Team's strategy is to keep uh, shooting or keep putting a tree directly in front of their flag. And I, I must, I'm just going to assume that no one is stream sniping because that does take the fun out of it. Mondria's doing well manning the cannons. I will tell them after this round is done as a reminder that they can move the cannons if they so choose. Ooh, that was getting close. Oh, that was close. Bum, 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 bum. And they do have to place the flags within this water trench. That is the um, limit of where you can place the flags. Hopefully the connection isn't becoming an issue.
I'm always good to pause. This isn't like a super competitive thing. Toad hats. Toad hat time. Time for a toad hat. This is fine. Toad hat. Toad hat time. So yeah, the reason that you can enter text now is to tell me on or off. But I presume that since I haven't been wearing it, that you want the hat to be on. Their flag placement is pretty good on both teams. So it does kind of seem like it's just going to come down a little bit to luck. So maybe we get rid of the, uh, the big flag. Maybe we just do a flag of one and a flag of two or two flags of two. And who knows, we might still run into the same issue. Oops, is it game mode zero? No. Huh. Maybe spectator mode's not a thing in uh, Bedrock Edition. I guess I thought it was. So we still have two, f we've got one flag there. Oh, that arrow got so close. That arrow got so close. Another one got so close. Oh, they're getting close. Another thing I'm wondering is whether we should set an overall time limit. So like um, a team just wins based on whether they have more wool after like 10 minutes or something. I don't know how long it has been. It hasn't been like awful long. but it feels like we're at a bit of a stalemate. Barry's aiming upwards. It's still technically anyone's game. We've got Mondria trying to shore up defenses here. Looks like they're just putting a couple of walls um, back to back, which is honestly, in my opinion, a good strategy. Meanwhile, uh, we've got black team here with a single tree blocking a direct line of sight. However, a diagonal arrow uh, could certainly hit. And they would be defenseless. It looks like the uh, wooden defenses are getting burnt down yet again. I almost feel like a uh, white team is focused entirely on defense and black team is at the point where they're focused on offense. Their flag is still sound for now. I'm not seeing that much fire over on this side. I feel like one of the wool pieces got burnt. Maybe I'm mistaken.
I can ask them, but my thought was that if, like, one piece got burnt, it would probably take the entire flag. Yes, they are entirely focused on uh, defense at the moment. I'm also hoping that my flyover isn't giving anyone any insider information. But I suppose I'm doing it to both teams pretty evenly, so... They're kind of just using their knowledge of where the other team members are at and like where they're spending most of their time. Chat, what do you think? Do you think implementing uh, like a 10 minute game timer and whoever has the most wool left wins? Because you can always get yourself um, in a stalemate kind of stance. And see, it seems like black team is also trying to sneak around a lot so that they don't give away their location. We've got Momdria doing her best. Oh, and she's down. That hurts. White team's getting bullied a little bit. They are fully on the defense, leaving black team to go full offense. I don't think I've seen a cannon fire from white team in quite some time. We've got white team here with almost no defenses left. They're still trying to throw up the wooden walls as quickly as they can. They're protecting their last flag and meanwhile black team is protecting their last two flags on full offense mode. Shooting cannon fire after cannon fire, arrow after arrow. Arrow Bounce is just picking them off. All three of them. Hi, Shay. We are doing Lava Wall. Black team has two flags left and white team has one flag left. And I'm kind of just doing like a flyover and commentary. We had a lot of fun with Rainbow Race and a pretty good time with Shopping List. I'm just really bummed about how poor my um, mining luck was compared to Arrow Bounce, who like found two diamonds, iron, and redstone in like two minutes of mining. Yeah, I don't think the, um, I don't think the black team has died that many times. Maybe it's just been a while, but it's been a little bit one-sided here for some time. 
There we've got some fighting back. We've got Time Turtle uh, spamming those arrows. We've got uh, Barry lurching in the trenches. And they still haven't managed to nick the flags yet. Which tells me that that's almost an infallible strategy. It seems like it would be easy enough to shoot it at a diagonal, you know, but it hasn't happened yet. It just hasn't happened. This match has been going on for, I think, it's only been 15 minutes, so it's not like it's been an atrocious amount of time. But I just don't want teams to get frustrated feeling like, um... Alright, we will set a timer. Because it does seem like dying repeatedly can get a little frustrating. I will not argue with that. We'll go three minutes. And if it goes horribly, I will uh, change my tune. So maybe we will do 15 minute matches then, 10 or 15 minute matches and assign point values either based on like which flag you have left or reduce the number of flags. This seems like a pretty good setup, uh, aside from the fact that it's on the wrong side to be able to uh, hit anything of value. We have a minute and a half left on the timer. Just to see if they can pick off at their flag a little bit. That's painful there. That arrow that landed right there, that hurts my soul. That hurts my soul. So close. I'm actually surprised. There's a lot of arrows that are landing over here and just going out. I don't know why that's happening. I have to make sure now that arrows are coming through and flaming. They still have their defenses up. Because, like, it's been clear that stuff is coming through here very much ablaze. I just don't see it happening the other way around very much. Actually, yeah, what is happening? Okay, hold on. Why is it not coming through fiery? Because it was. They lost flags. We'll hop back in vibes, and I'll try to figure out what's going on with this map. Hi, Sackmit. Okay, so, um, something weird is happening. What? There's a lot of arrows coming through from white team that are not ignited for some reason. Oh. And I don't know why, because, like, I literally watched a bunch of arrows hit this flag here, but they weren't lit. 
And they should be lit because they're going through the lava. I've been hit by on fire arrows. Yeah. I just don't know why um, things aren't catching are sure, over here. Are you, I don't. Are you sure flame arrows work like that? Yeah, I don't think. I don't know. If flame arrows spread fire. Oh, they don't. I thought they did. Maybe they don't. Let me. Tr Does it have to be a flaming bow? Oh, maybe. Because that might be where my issue is. Wait, does. Do those work in that like that in this version? I don't know, and maybe this is a Java slash Bedrock desync issue. Can you guys hear no, me? I, I can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh boy, I had some issues there. I I think Christy's not pulling her bow back fully. I don't know if that has something to do with it. Oh well, yeah, I think. Uh... Uh, but I I was after you told me. Oh okay. Okay, so let me uh, do a um... test here. Also, side note, I'm gonna get off pretty soon, so... Okay! Um, so, Black Team did win, but I wanna try to figure out if that was an actual issue that was hindering. Right. Also, White Team, how did your, uh, battleship ignite, did you guys, but not... Did you guys run out of flame charges? We just didn't use them. That would be the, know. that would be the issue, then, if the, if the, uh, arrows weren't igniting There's... anything. Our, yeah, yeah, our trees were like on fire a lot in the beginning, but then I've noticed they, they stopped being on fire like at all. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. so yeah. a I question: You guys aren't using flame charges anymore. But I a question. I, I did. I stopped using them and I started using the bow. Okay. A question, White mm. Team. How is it that your uh, flag? This was a flag of three, correct? Yes. Did the fire just not spread to the whole thing? I guess not. Oh. I think I forgot that rule. Okay, because I was like, I don't remember, I... actually. I, I remember stopping fire that was near it, like next to it. Okay. Yeah, we, I did that on one of ours as well, but it was... Yeah. But it was near yeah, it and not on it. Happened was okay. I one of them and I stopped the, the fire. Okay, so then that would mean that white team did lose, but I mean, you have less wool anyway, which is... It's, it's fine, but I need to figure out if uh, this is an issue. So I'm going to try to ignite this tree by fully... Nope, it was not on fire. The, the arrow wasn't, or the block didn't catch? The arrow was not on fire. Also not on fire. <laughs> that was through the yeah. lava. This arrow's on fire! Huh. Why is it on fire only the one way? Rude. Because, like, then yeah. I'm gonna say was, that it's kind they, of a draw. Some of them were definitely on fire, because I was getting yeah. lit on fire by arrows. Okay, hold that on. One? <laughs> How dare. <laughs> How dare you? Are mine on fire? I don't think so, but hold on. Are mine? Okay, so this arrow is on fire that hit that this one, birch. Yeah, the couple that just went over are on fire. Let's, 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 see if it, let's, let's see if it ignites. It does not. I don't think the arrows ignite. Out. Yeah, they just go out after a bit. Okay. The, fl the flame charge is the only, only thing that ignites. Okay, so then I'll need to oh. test and see, because this arrow is on fire. All right, also... so then now I want to test and see... Uh, Arrow, did you say you had to go soon? Uh, yes. That is fine. Okay. Yeah, Congratulations on the win, Black Team. Thanks Another for win for Blue Team. Uh, <laughs> blue Team, Best Team. Yeah. GG Squad. Team team. We, we did at least <laughs> find out. Thank you for playing, by the way, Mom. I'm sorry if that was a little frustrating. I thought the arrows also <laughs> ignited blocks, so that's why they I was like... They players, so it makes they, sense. They, they do. Work. It's odd and that they don't. I feel yeah. like in the version of this I watched on YouTube, they did ignite blocks uh, are you sure that wasn't the um, it was lava? probably java or it was probably an older version and they patched it out no are you are you sure that wasn't a modded instance i don't think it was but i can't say for sure it was a, an achievement yeah. hunter video but let me try one more thing with a um with a flaming bow Question mark? I don't know that this will or won't work, but I'm curious. But yeah, it was good playing with you all. Thank See you, you for joining. Yeah, you wait, 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 wait. Thanks for joining. What's that? Oh, I just said thanks for joining. Oh, okay. But yeah, that is interesting. I, I feel like uh, in Java version, the, the fire would actually spread. I think it is a bedrock Java thing. That's why I'm looking for a flame book. Every annoying thing seems to be. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Dead. 
Okay, so this is a flame bow. Alright, arrow is on fire. It is on fire. I don't think it's igniting, though. No, it is not. So then that's that what- why we couldn't get anywhere. That's what we need to know, then. Uh, is that you absolutely have to send the flame charges through if you want yeah. to burn anything. The arrows are just for PvP, I suppose. Yes. We could okay. we could do away with the arrows altogether, unless you guys like having them in. What do you think? I like I, having them in for combat. They're fun. Yeah, I think the PvP is actually a good strategy because it takes players out of the uh, match for a little bit. It does. Yeah. I will say, However, like, white team went full defense mode and black team was full offense there for quite some time, and that's when I was like, should I start a timer? Well, yeah, we ran out of, um... Meal, I think so. Oh, okay. There wasn't a whole lot of defense we could do. I see. Point. Well, that actually okay. is a good thing to know then because I actually think four stacks of bone meal is the perfect amount because that forces the game to a natural conclusion. Three. It was three. But yeah. It was three stacks of bone meal? One per player. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was four. However, uh, um, Oh well. My bow, my bow ran out. I, that was an issue I ran into. Okay. Arrows was almost running out. Yeah. So, I can give each player two bows, but I think the barrel of arrows and the limited I amount like, of bone meal will, like, so, I think that I match like was... also, because it inherently limits, like, I feel like fire charges is the most important thing, and that wasn't something we ran out of. Yes. We were really in any danger of running out of, and that's, I think, the only thing that would really suck if you ran out of, because you literally couldn't win. Right. But. So, that will be, like, I'm trying to figure out, um... That match was maybe 20 minutes. Yeah. Did that feel too long? Yes. It, yeah. I thought so. <laughs> so then that's why, what if we cut the number of like certain things in half? I, I agree that you shouldn't run out of flame charges because then it's literally unwinnable. And the flame charge, yeah. uh, the, the spread of the flame charge is horrendous. You cannot uh, predict with yeah, any accuracy. Like, we moved all of our stuff to the very front, like, initially. Yes. Then we weren't shooting our own trees. Um, but on top of that, so it seems like, um, running out of bow and arrow doesn't really... It just stops you from being able to PvP, and then you have to focus on yeah. defense. Running out of bone meal does make sense, because then you are out of blocks with which to defend yourself. Right. Um, I, I was also going to give Arrow my bow if I had gone on longer, because I was, I, I'm a terrible shot. And, gotcha. And he's a really good shot, so like, you know, you can also share resources. You can, well. yes. And yeah. I think, so I could either limit um, a couple of the different resources, or I could initiate like a 15 minute hard and fast timer, and then whoever has the most wool left at the end wins. Or I like doing a timer. Yes. Yeah. What yeah. What would you do in the case of ties, though? Um, it's a good question. Just destroy all trees. Just destroy all trees. Launch a bunch of fire charges. You can't put anything out. Sudden death round. We could do a sudden death. Yeah, where we just like clear the uh, battlefield of all wood and yeah. let you go at it with the fire charges. And then hoovers. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. Um, before we run out of time, or before we get ready, Chrissy brought up a good point. She said, can you put your ships, like, behind the dispensers? I'm gonna say that they cannot be blocking line Block of sight. Line. Like, um, okay. it is, it, it's a fair question, because if the dispensers are completely barring uh, like arrow, well, I guess it's gotta be the flame charges, but if your dispensers are blocking and since the dispensers are stone, they will not be burnable. Right. So, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna say that you can't, like, put a line of your dispensers in front of your flags. Okay. Um, I think- And we also had sort of talked about, like, we can't dig up the dirt to try and stack things up in the first minute or any, anything like that. That's a good question. I mean... Yeah, I thought that would technically be breaking the arena. Uh, yeah, and also I feel like at that point you could just do an unburnable barricade. Well, yeah. Least, oh, the yeah, so... Are, the trees are unburnable barricade. So, yeah, I, I'll agree that you can't use the dirt. Uh, if you can get trees and get wood within your first minute to 
build your uh, flag up in the air, I think that's valid and you like that's good. You can do that, but yeah. Also, I don't even know. Like having your flag in the air might be more of a detriment with all of the trees yeah, and the leaves burning. That. I, think it, I know, I know it this was. Ad, uh, it like is, what, yeah. probably like in the first five minutes of the match, I know this said uh, we had two that were up in the air, and those were the first ones to go. Oh. Yeah, it was their one on the ground that did not go. So then, um, chat, if there's anyone out there watching who is interested in playing, you can do exclamation mark server and you can join us. If not, um, I can either take up the spot on black team or kick Blaze over to black team and do family uh, time. I am also going to have to go. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> it does a little bit. <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, Thank yeah, you for joining you. us. Except for this annoying floating leaf block that we can't destroy. Thank you. You're welcome. Except for the wool blocks. Um, yeah, I'll go drop off my remaining stuff. Alrighty. Well, and here's a question to the rest of you in voice chat. Do you want to do another round of this or do you want to move on to another game? Personally, I'd be happy to move on to some mini golf. Okay. Me too. Yeah, mini golf would be fun. I did. I watched. I felt bad because there was a lot of bloodshed on the white team. Like, I just. I watched them continually get pummeled by arrows and try. Arrow bounce is an insane shot. I can like, like, tell. Like, I was really impressed. I'm a terrible I, I shot. Did. Arrow bounce, like, got total party kills multiple times. And I was yeah. just like, I feel bad. <laughs> for them. I was like, dang, MVP. That's when I started sneaking and he couldn't kill me as well. <laughs> yeah. Sneaking was definitely the strat. It definitely you was. Can, you couldn't do fire charges if you were sneaking. You could shoot, but you couldn't press the button. Yeah, that's true. So, yes, I think if we play this again, we will initiate, like, maybe a 10-minute limit. And I'll keep the resources the same, I think. Are you having fun vomiting wood? <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you for asking. Oh, I'm doing my inventory in the, in the most efficient way possible. <laughs> Not that I could do backslash clear or anything. Nope. Nope. I okay. hope you I hope uh, you landed in the wood that you just barfed. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> have from, a good night, segment. Yeah, thanks for having me play. It was so fun. fun. All right, uh, whoever, Good night, all. take care. Whoever's still around, let's go back to the warp zone. Snake, are you still good to play some more games? Yeah. Chat, if you would like to get in on this, you can do exclamation mark server and you can join us. I believe we're going to move on to the uh, winter mini golf. I love how y'all are just like teleporting yourself to me. Yep. You should be teleporting to me. Oh, never mind. Red's already there. Here, I thought I went so fast. Not fast enough. Apparently not. Bad mode. So uh, this is the Among Us apartment building that I built uh, as part of the holiday special. And two villagers moved in there and stole my cat and stole my apartment. And now they have squatters Aww. rights, so I can't kick them out. How do I evict them? Well, you could kill them. No, I am not a murderer. <gasps> it's a snow box. They're so beautiful. So are you familiar with the rules of Minecraft mini golf? It's been a hot minute since I played, uh, so I would like a refresher. All right, I'll also give a little refresher for uh, those who are watching in chat. So you're going hey, to grab a stack hey, of Red, snowballs. I need a quick break. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, that's fine. Grab some snowballs from this white shulker box. You really only need the one. I'm not gonna kill the villager. Is someone watching my stream in the VC? I'm not. Because I hear it. 
Yep, I hear it too. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe it was Barry. It might have been Barry. <laughs> Sorry for the echo. It shouldn't last long. Polar bear just jumped off the polar bear. What? What? He did. See him down? Oh! Off the, the, the giant polar bear statue is one of the holes. He just fell off. I uh, was wondering because I heard someone take damage. It was him. Hey, Barry. All right, I'm back. How'd you know I was back? Uh, I heard you. Your microphone is very good at picking things up. Thank you. <laughs> well, now what, what did it pick up? Uh, so you were picking up pretty... Do you have the stream loaded on your uh, device? I have it on my... Somewhere. I have it on my Chromebook right next to it, but it's nearly muted. Okay, because we were hearing an entire, like, uh, echo of everything that we were saying in the discord <laughs> sorry about that it's all right it wasn't like ob oh, obscenely loud so yeah, for well. those of you who have not played uh, there's also a poll in chat right now of should i kill the villager squatters in my apartment building <laughs> so anyway what? if you have not played minecraft mini golf you take a snowball and you throw it with q Aw, not a hole in one. Oh. And then you go and you reclaim it. And so you see, this is the block that I'm reclaiming it from. You have to stand in this block to shoot your next shot. So that was a uh, par two. Wow, I wonder who, which one of my mods would make a poll like that. Uh, so everyone can go ahead and take a turn at this hole. I guess we're gonna have to keep track of your own scores, or you don't really have to. It can just be a this is a fun thing. Alrighty. So I guess I'm going first. Okay. Go right ahead. Wow. Wow. Play I where? Thought aiming, I thought aiming up would actually get you some distance. Uh, it can, but not like that. <laughs> so play it where it lies. Uh oh. Picked it up. No, you're fine. That's what you're supposed to do. You just have to stand on the block where it was. Um, do you guys want to just have whoever starts, like, finish their hole? Yeah, yes. I think that'd be easiest. So go ahead okay. and finish. I'm gonna call my little demonstration my attempt. Yeah, part two's good. I'd say so. I see the snake is enamored by the button. It's I don't a, even know where the button is. It's a little oh. barnacle. So, bogey for me. Alrighty. Is that one over par? I forget. Yep. Thank you for lurking arrow bounce. We were talking about how you are uh, an absurdly good shot. You were cyberbullying my mom. <laughs> so, I guess subscribers are allowed to do that. So are we waiting for everyone to complete the hole before we move on, or...? Yeah. Yeah! I think okay. we should. I wasn't sold. Is that a two? Three. Bogey for mom. You're, you're good. It was part of the game, but that's when I realized that um, we're gonna change it up the next time we play Lava Wall so that there's a time limit. Um, like... I think oh. 10 minutes is what we're going to do, and then you'll have points. You weren't that close. I was. I was, like, right here. It looked like it. you picked it up back here. That's cheater. Nope, it picks up closer to you. Cheater. It, it warps to you. Better get her a pumpkin. Don't you know your Minecraft? You did basically treat that as a PvP game, but that's fine. See, look, it warps to you. Have fun Thank segment. There. Thank you so much for joining us. So you may pick it up and stand within the block where it was at. Puh! That's a par for snake. Snake, snake, 
So, Linus, snake. That's a two. Twofer. A twofer. That's what we call. That's what we call my dog's teeth. Twofers. Yep. I'm actually really happy that we got this reward unlocked for my subathon. Because <laughs> this is a lot of fun. We're gonna have to build yeah. a new mini golf course soon. I've enjoyed all these games. We still got Drip Leaf Spleef. Nice. Oh, that looked like it could have been a hole in one, but it wasn't! So, is this is this one also a part two? Uh, yeah. I think so. I think this next one might be uh, par three. Barry, you really want me to do villager murder? Yes. Rude! I don't like the villagers. Barry doesn't like the villagers like at all. Did everyone get two on this one? Oh, yep, we still got Snake to go. I got two. Snake's lining it up. Oh and... Uh, 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 right now. Ooh, I thought he had a good strategy. I thought he did too, it just didn't like it. I don't really understand what happened there. Also, I love that this bear has trapped himself in the flower garden. Yeah. Aww, uh, he, he, he... He's a mascot hey, we now. It, we better make it daytime before we all get mauled by monsters. Yeah, you're right. Um, because I don't want a creeper to blow this place up. Oh, uh, should I not be creative? You're fine to be creative as long as you're not like flying to take your shot. That would be cheating. Yeah. That's one. Two! Ooh. I did this in a hole in one on my last stream where we did mini golf, and I don't know how I did it. I don't remember if I said it, but thank you for lurking arrow bounce. Oh no. Oh no. You can still do it. I think. Oh no! <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Hey. I think, I'm, I'm for me on that one. I think so. I think a lot of these ended up being par two because, like, it becomes unfun to make Minecraft mini golf courses that are like par four. Yeah. Really, this one almost could be a par three. It kind of depends on like, you have to line that first shot up and if you don't, it's hard to recover. Yay! Bogey for mom. I don't know if um, you had heard Blaze or if anyone in chat had heard, but we are going to be resetting this map because um, this map was made a long time ago, even before the Caves and Cliffs update. Probably even like before that, I think we've got stuff up saying that 1.17 was new. So it's an old map. And it's been well explored out into like the 10,000s in some ways. So we're gonna restart it. And we're gonna make the restart a like launch kind of weekend event. And we're gonna start off with a speed run to the Ender Dragon. Nice. Cause that sounds like I'm a good thing that. to do. So anyone uh, who has access to Bedrock Minecraft is welcome to join as we speed run to the end dragon in survival mode. Because I told myself I'm not allowed to go into creative mode until we beat the end dragon because I feel like it took me way too long to do that last time. Wow, that was bad.
I think a bogey for me. Either that or this one's par three. I'll kind of like make that decision as I watch everyone else do it. <laughs> but yes, I would love to uh, be joined by fellow Minecrafters as we speed run to the end dragon. I should warn you, I've not really done much in terms of speed run practicing. Um, I've done a speed run and I think it was close to four hours. I didn't even set a timer for it. But it was crowd control too. Taking the over under on if the initial run takes less than five hours. That's fair. Um, because yeah, like crowd control made it easier because everyone was like, here, hold out your pickaxe. Let me put fortune four on it. Or like, here, hold out this. Let me put infinity on your fishing, on, on your bow or whatever. So chat really was nice to me. And I kept spawning bees all over the place. You did. And chat also spawned a lot of blazes on me. So I didn't ever find the nether fortress Ooh. i just got enough blaze rods otherwise what was that two two yep. very nice yeah, good one. yeah it's hard to know how to set that initial shot Thank up you. but i think I know. She, ju she jumped and i didn't i think par two is what we're gonna call this one then i don't know if a, a hole in one is possible i'm like I, my thought was if you go over the mine shaft altogether but you lose a lot of uh distance when you look up to make your shot no, yeah. that's what I did, is I looked up over top of it. No, you do, but you're not ever going to be able to, th like, th toss it over the top to get a hole in one, I don't think. Right. Yay. Well done. So that seems to be the threat. Oh, I remember making this one. Yep, this is an easy hole in one. I was about to cry because I almost didn't get the hole in one, and I was like, "Mom." I'm gonna be. Jinxing it. This is gonna be a hole in one. Woo! Oh, uh, yes, there yeah. It like it like hangs out on the corner like it doesn't want to go in. It's, I was gonna be irate. It's mocking us. Yeah, I do have it. Well, so I have a feeling that if we're gonna do a speed run, if I were to do it by myself, it would definitely be over five hours. But if I'm doing it as a team, I think we can get it done in way less than that. It's just gonna come down to our luck with the nether, really. I set my spawn point when I was in there. Good. Because you're gonna die on these spiky bushes? With that or the water. You're gonna die on the this, water. I did this one. You made this one. Yeah, I made a really easy well one. Well done, really Snake. Where's the. Where's the. It's way it's, down it's, down. Uh, There's a flag oh. in front of the tree, or at the tree, oh. that's where the hole is. Okay. We were trying to use banners to indicate where the holes were. And remember, this is blue ice. So it goes quite a bit quicker. And it has landed yeah, here. True. I think I used blue ice in both of mine. I did. You did. Did you guys Ow. use regular ice? I think oh, I did. I, did. I was special. You are. Oh, I know. All right, that's three. I think you you can easily do it in two. I just goofed it up. I so think you can easily do it, but maybe you can't do it. That's why I feel like this could be a par three. I think it could be, yeah. Because, like, three is a reasonable way to get it done. I wouldn't call it a bogey, necessarily. I'm taking the safe route. That's fair. I was, I was really close. I was one block to the right of the hole. I just didn't have a good angle for it. Nice. Well done. That's a par. Sleeping fox. Hi, baby. Did you 
wake him up? I did. I got a little too close and he got spooked. He yeah. got scared. Well, it still worked. Spooky fox. I think this is a new song. Yeah, it sounds new. To me. Ooh, that was good. That was really good. I tried to go over the bush, but I couldn't make it. I also couldn't. I mean, I did get very close. Will he do it? Will he do it? Go snake. Go snake. It's your birthday. Aww. Aww. No. Claps for trying. Clap, clap, clap. That's my clapping, is eating. The only thing I have to eat is a snowball. <laughs> is the music getting too loud in chat for anyone Oops, else? Sorry. You're fine. Yeah, this one, uh, the flag is like, look for the orange banner to know where to go. Gotcha. Two. Par is definitely two. So chat, if you didn't know, um, hosting the channel here, you can save up your like I hosted points and redeem some incentives. So a uh, segment last night hit five I hosted points and got a free doodle. You forgot to take your diamond with you when you logged off. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, if you are watching the stream on a mobile device, if you hit that like triangle sideways triangle share icon, you can host the channel that way. It is free and it helps uh, get me into the recommended list. I didn't know you could climb those like vines. I didn't either, but I'm having fun. I'm glad you're having fun. Um, you guys didn't know you could climb them? No, I didn't I, actually. I didn't know you could climb them. Oh, okay. We have strays on the loose lookout. They should oh, start dying. I realized it was nighttime, but it was a little too late. Oh, God, um, you said strays, I thought you meant cats. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, so Chris Cake. Like, what? Welcome in. We're going to be eating some cake on this next one. Yeah. We will be eating some cake. It's a birthday. Whose birthday is it? Uh, it's not my birthday. Oh, it's, so the, it's the bear's birthday. There's a fox! I love it. Wow, it lost all its momentum. It's because it's not the pack dice. No, like, I jumped and thought it was gonna go way further. We're playing, um, Minecraft minigames. Uh, we are doing mini golf. Well done. Nice shot. Thank you. And um, I was telling the chat about how I have a um, a counter for how many times a person has hosted the channel. And when you hit five, you get a free little doodle. I, f I don't know if 10 is going to be stickers or not. I really ought to plan this out fully before I keep telling ah. everyone about it. Is it my turn? I yeah. think so. I was, I was playing the game called Break All the Ice before it freezes again. Uh, icebreakers. That's what I was playing. Her, you were. Her, the thing Oops, wrong one. Thank you so I'm... much, Chris Cake. You get to be, you get to use the emotes now, Barry. You're a subscriber. Oh, thank you. Very sweet. 
Ooh, you know what? Maybe at 10, um, I'll do a little Valentine at 10 hosting points. And then there will be uh, a sticker set. So like this is a rainbow rupee and there's a little rainbow Kirby. Just a little way to incentivize hosting because it does help the channel. I actually think uh, I got a very nice raid the other night and I think it was because I was in the um, recommended section on Twitch from people hosting me. Thank you for the biddies. Mm, nice. Very cool. Yeah, that person who was playing Pioneers of Olive Town. Um, Cause at first I was like, oh, they must be a friend of a friend. But then I like went to follow them and I was like, I don't know any of these people. So are we doing the last hole? We can, yeah. So the yeah. last one you stand in the water. And basically this is the ball return. So you're just trying to Get it back as far as you can. Yep, and I made it to the first hole. Luck with that. I can't remember if you're supposed to stand in the water or on the ice. Chris Cake! If you stand on the ice, the it doesn't help. I think it's the water. Yeah. So, yeah, because here you're kind of blocked. Just a minute, Chris Cake. Yeah. Thank you so much for the five gift subs. Oh. We get to uh, spin the dice block, actually. I haven't spun the dice block in a hot minute. Well... <laughs> oh no! You just don't get your ball back! Yeah, I guess not. Alright, while you guys are wrapping up, I'm gonna do the dice block spin. Woo! Sorry, I'm trying to get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the five gift subs, Chris Cake. You're such a sweetheart. Uh, if you don't know what the dice block is... Um, it's... It's literally a Mario, uh, dice block. And... I might need to go get my notebook to remember which color does what, but like you could win a stream for yourself. Like you can say, hey, can you play this game? And then I will do a stream. Thank you so much for the biddies, Boomerang. Um, uh, you can win a stream just for you. You could win a, um, a karaoke. You could win a Minecraft caricature. I did one for Sekhmet and she uh, really enjoyed it, I think. Uh, you could get a Minecraft statue made for yourself or a sticker set, if you're comfortable giving me your uh, mailing address, that is. So let me test this. Is it dice? I think it's dice. Thank you, Shay. It is dice. So Chris Cake, um, when you are ready to roll the dice block, you will do exclamation mark dice in chat. Please only Chris Cake do it. Oh. You won the red prize. I have to look up what the red prize is. <laughs> snake drink. Yep. So yeah, I on the like he'll he'll warm up twice, and on the third one he punches the block. And this is what you get for gifting three or more subs. Thank you so much. Um, I am going to... I need to find my notebook where I had that. Is there a prize that you are more interested in, Chris K? Because I don't actually think we rolled a red dice block before. We rolled a lot of yellows. And the yellow was the sticker set. I know, I'm being generous. I'm letting you pick your prize from the list because I don't know where my notebook is. Oh, ADHD. You are grateful for anything. I appreciate that. I know that um, time zones between us are a little difficult, so I could understand if you weren't sure if you wanted like to pick a game for me to stream for like a three hour session, because it's more fun if you can be there for it. But uh, I will get back to you on that. I will go find the notebook once we are moved on to the next thing here. But thank you so much for the gift subs. Thank you guys for the hype train. We're actually pretty close to level three. So if anybody wants to gift a sub or throw some biddies in to upgrade the emote, that's your call. Ah! Ah! Snowballs. Yeah, I'm throwing. Snowballs. <laughs> I'm tossing snowballs! 
So chat, do you guys want to do some parkour? Or I say chat, uh, I mean people in VC with me. Oh, oh gosh, uh, I'm horrible at parkour. <laughs> this would be fun. We'll go do the Breath of the Wild parkour. So follow me, we'll go back to town. I really appreciate all the support. This, honestly, this has been so much fun. I was confiding in Fudge earlier. I was just like, you know what? I'm really worried about this. Like, what if nobody's here and nobody wants to play anything and I have a three hour stream session to fill and there's like one other person to play mini games with. And that was not the case. So um, this is our Pride Craft setup. It's the remnants of our um, Pride Charity collaboration, where we um, built a lot of uh, pixel art for people. If you are interested, Chris Cake, um, I did this Mareep statue for the Queer Note, and one of the um, one of the dice block prizes is a Minecraft statue. I also did this one here for Data Mouse because she really loves Deden. And I'm gonna put a little, maybe I'll put a little area inside of it. Uh, apparently I'm someone's supposed to ask me about my extended car warranty. <laughs> Hi, Arrow Bounce. Are you coming back to reclaim your diamond? <laughs> so. I'm gonna teleport everyone to me, and we're gonna go here. Oh, sorry, Arrow, I just realized my mistake if you were trying to get your diamond back. I don't know if you wanted to do the parkour. So come down here, set your spawn. If you hold shift on the magma block, you won't take damage. So oh, if you set your spawn, you can, there's bread here. If you need any bread. What, what block is this? Choo choo. Oh man, what block is what? Oh, it's a structure block. It is a structure block. I was trying to copy and paste this and I think I did it correctly. So we're doing parkour. Ow, my ankles. Whoops. Yeah, I won't grief anyone. So, meaning don't hit the uh, trap doors when people are trying to walk on them. Are you having fun watching them? Oh no. Oh, having a great time watching. That's, ah! that's fine. from the shadows. Mm. Aw, man. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I need a snack. <laughs> Little bread snack. Ah. Yeah, uh, I'm glad that I have you all in voice chat to hear you go, ah, darn it. Aw, man. <laughs> yep. Darn it. Uh, I assume you have voice chat going through, uh... The stream? Voice. Yeah, I do. Nice. I, I have for the entire time, and that's why I broke people off into, um, different teams, so that I didn't have oh. to hear everything overlapping. Okay. I love how no one's letting anyone take a turn. We're just all going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's yeah, not yeah. really player collision, so there's <laughs> not much of a penalty except for visibility. Yeah, I was gonna say the penalty is oh. I can't see anything. <laughs> I won! Okay. Now I'm out of your way. Oh. I love how Snake is just standing back there ready he, to he, go. He's waiting for his turn. And everyone keeps, okay. everyone keeps I'll be blocking there. him. I'll be right. Go Thanks. for it, Snake. Go ahead. Yay! Oh man! I'm sad I missed that jump. Oh, I 
keep missing that one. I still haven't done this all in one sitting. I like get to a certain point and then I'm like, nope. I'm gonna just fly back up and say I made that jump. But like all of these jumps are doable. I just haven't done them all simultaneously <laughs> is the thing. But this is a little Breath of the Wild parkour challenge that we built uh, during Pridecraft. Ah! Oh, sorry, go ahead. Ah! Uh, ah. n you want to go across to the opposite wall once you're on that trap door. Well, I can't get there now because somebody's in the way. Go ahead. And then you're going down to the other trap door. Oh, I hit space. I'm mad about Did that. Did I win? No. Am I done? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Am I, I done? She I asks right there. Done. No, there, there's, there's a whole thing. Oops. You cheater. No, I'm just seeing if I can make it. By doing it in creative mode. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ow. Where did you guys get the bread? Uh, it's in the shulker box. Feel free to take a stack and keep it on you. What? What happened? I like... There's nothing to bonk my head on. I just lost momentum. It's like my uh, control button gave out. Where is the uh, silver box? I can't find it. It's the blue box uh, right next to you. Oh. It's a fancy I'm chest. Blind, apparently. It's just a fancy little chest. That was weird. It was like, uh, took damage, but went through the block. Mm -hmm. So the queer note, when we were setting this up, wow. thought to themselves, what if we made the water blocks or the ice blocks here retract with pistons? And I, I said, why did I lose? Why do I keep losing momentum there? I've made it up to the second set of ice blocks twice now. Oh, sorry. Fire. No, you're good. So here, I keep hitting something. Oh, it's that one. I keep bonking off of a trap door that doesn't need to be open. That wasn't even a jump. I walked off that block. <laughs> I hate that. I keep undercorrecting for the ice. I know. So yeah, um... One thing worth noting to those of you here in chat, if you are trying to make the jump from this first trap door down and this third trap door is in your way, you can move it, but I have to change it now to make my jump. So bear with me. Oh, I miss, I cry. <laughs> I cry real tears. jump there somehow. <laughs> Why are you like this Minecraft? <laughs> Why are you like this? So we have a couple of different parkour courses. We have this Breath of the Wild one. We have a lava honey one that's got a giant bee statue. That was the only one that I could ever do. Oh man, I bounced off. I had too much momentum and I boinged. Snake discovered floor was lava. I don't know how you died. Did you, was that a fall damage death modification? How did you die? Happy little rage quit. I'm so confused. You didn't type that. How did you discover the floor is lava? I'm so baffled. Ah. What? Oh, that, it's magma. That damn. Floor is actually lava. I've reached the end rods twice now, and I've 
The end rods are tricky because they they are they seem harder than they are. You don't actually want to sprint at all on the end rods. You just want to jump. And it took me a while, even though I built the dang thing, to remember that. Uh, so you go there. And the so end rod here. no, here you go up the ice again. Okay. And then from here, you go to this third lantern. I'm gonna try to make. Yeah. I keep not hitting space! If you go to the, the, this lantern, then you have to trigger the trap door oh, and set it real quick. Thank yes. You. Thank you. Red, I can't yeah. even get past the first ice blocks. I am sorry. I can't even make the first jump. You can't make this? You can make this. You have to hit no, I can't. I... You have to hold control to sprint. Ah! Oh, well, I, was, I was hitting shift. Well, that will stop you from jumping. What's that? You jump and trigger the trap door at the same time. Oh, then like you jump. stand on the trap door. Yeah, and you hit. Yeah. Yeah, like there that. Go. There okay. you go. Uh, yep. And then you can get up onto the climbing segment. Yep. Whoops. Or not. Or not. Or that's, not. that's fine. Yep. Also, or not. <laughs> uh, so I think, it's, despite the fact I've been eating constantly, I feel like I've been spending this entire time at three hearts. I know. The fall damage is pretty intense for a lot of these jumps. Oh, man, I have not made that jump once tonight, and I don't know why. What? It's frustrating because I built well, this. I'm just going to reset my... That's fine. I, I built this, so like you think I would know how to do this. But as it turns out, no, it's still kind of a hard uh, parkour challenge. How long ago did you make this? Uh, it was in June. Oh, it's been a minute. Yeah, and I mean, it's not like I'm practicing this particular parkour. Currently miss toggle sprint so bad. I know. The fact that you have to keep like mashing your hand in a weird position to uh, do that is a mess. Yeah. Alright, you go first because I have missed this jump like every single time. I did not press space. <laughs> Alright, I got it. Yay. No! <laughs> I did the same thing that Fire did! I never had issue with those no. uh, ladders until tonight. Can I reach that from here? Yes. So yeah, once you get to the end rods is where you have to go... somewhere... else? I think from the end rods you're trying to land on that little, uh, like... andesite... block. Platform. That's my assumption. God. You're good. I'm trying to like remember, like, I don't remember being this hard. And I'm just like, do I need to balance my own parkour level? Do I need to rewrite this? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Blaze. Oh, uh, you can't. That one, that one you can't really jump on. At least not this late. I don't think. I've just been skipping like two of those jumps down there, I think. Alright, I'm at the end rods. Mom said BRB. I made it. Now I'm at the amethyst wall. You're now further than I've gotten. The amethyst wall, I might need to rework. <laughs> Note to self, keep track of health. Right? Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright. I don't want to lose it now. I don't want to lose. Because <laughs> you could still fall and lose it all here. I really made this uh, getting over it style. I faced worse 
map. Snake, like get out of here! I don't, I don't want you here. You're gonna mess me up. Okay, I did it. Chat, we did it. We're the first ones to be our challenge. There's a Breath of the Wild monk here to greet you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Cheaters aren't welcome here. Uh, and then, um, whoosh, you uh, get launched up the tower. And there's a hidden little sneaky secret that you can find. The secret is elytra at the top. If you manage to clear. Uh, and if anyone wants out of there, like you're done doing the parkour, let me know. I will teleport you. Because if you don't win, you there's not an exit. I love all of these statues. You can land on the amethysts. Oh. And you're gonna scale the amethyst wall side by side, and then you're gonna land on this platform here. And then from there, the two slabs, and then the vines, and then you're done. Your last jump. Hey! Oh. And then you can ride the tower up. This was a lot of fun to make, actually. It's funny, I always make parkour courses, and I never think they're that hard until I, like, struggle and suffer through playing it. Um, my mom had said that she thought having a segment where you could retry at the amethyst wall if you fell at the amethyst wall would probably be good. Because it is quite frustrating. Mm. Oh, I went the wrong direction. I went backwards. I've done that before. Yeah, from there you want to go up to the topmost uh, yeah. trap door. Snake, that's not, sorry, not the top, top, top one, Snake, but the one that you were looking at. This one is the one that you're gonna try to jump to. It's a hard jump. I missed it like four times tonight. Watch it. Watch him. Oh, watch him. Nope. And then from there, you can actually jump from the trap door to the ladders. You don't need to get up on top of that lantern, I found. But you can. If you uh, hug the wall. Well, you saved half of it, at least. You could turn around and uh, go back around. But yes, enjoy your free elytra. <laughs> Arrow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, keep building some more parkour courses. Cause I well, like I them. I should probably stop the minecart <laughs> setting off all of this. Um, oh, did the fireworks start going off? Yeah. Uh, that's fine. That was for our um, Pridecraft finale. I forget the wiring. Uh, trick or what uh no the queer note had set it up so that there were like there was like a button and a lever and there was a certain order not to toot your own horn there is one that boomerang made um yeah boomerang's float is this blue prismarine float and uh there's a little parkour course on it if anyone wants to try it i struggled with it a lot and it's way shorter than the breath of the wild one See, it's weird. The lever for the minecart is set to off for the fireworks. But I do hear it going. It should stop after a lap. In theory. I struggle with all parkour. 
This one has drip leaf blocks, so like uh, you're timed on some of your jumps. Oh, Shay's is the one that's going off. I don't know how to stop Luigi from uh, his rampage. Can I just stand here? Will that stop Luigi? I tried standing there. That will not. Luigi cannot be stopped. Can. Luigi will be stopped. Luigi must be stopped. Dang it. I have freed Luigi. Wait. Yeah, this one I struggled with quite a bit. Mostly because a lot of the jumps were like very particular in terms of like lining yourself up. Whoops. <laughs> maybe I should take the lights off, affecting... maybe? Yeah, I don't think it's affecting anything, but like just in case. It's a very nice float you made, Boomerang. So, um, I think it's actually best to make that jump from the middle of this fence, if I remember right. Because otherwise, you're gonna yeah, I be bonk your head. That's always what happens to me, though, is I have too much momentum, and I will land on the fence and then fall right off of it. And it makes me so sad. Um, oh, over there? Yep, and then there's a drip leaf. They are hard jumps. Also, I shout out to this very large um, frog light barricade I made because I was going to build something here and then I never did. That's very, um, it's a very Redria thing to do. My stream yeah. is, oh, it's back. Um, if anyone down in the Breath of the Wild area would like to be freed, let me know. I think I'm the only one still, still trying to chip away at it. Okay, because we do have, um, yeah. we have the lava one that I can showcase. Uh, does anyone want to play Drip Leaf Spleef? Or are we having fun with parkour? I think I was just about done for the night. That's fine. It is getting a little late, so I can understand mm -hmm. that with church tomorrow. Yeah. I um, do want to try and see if I can finish this yeah, one. <laughs> I believe in you. Then it seems like we will um, we'll hold off on the drip leaf spleef. Mm -hmm. That's a three in one. Because the drip leaf is also like a 1v1 kind of a game, so it would just be people who want to play. Snake, how did you burn to death? What are you doing, Snake? <laughs> He's having fun with the magma block. Well, that doesn't burn you to death, does it? I think it does, yeah. I think it does yeah. set you on fire. Yeah, if you stand there long enough. Aw, oh, man. You can uh, you pick me out, Red. Okay. <laughs> You're here on this one in case you wanted to do another Oh. Parkour. Well, I know what killed me that time. I ran out of sprint. <laughs> That'll do it. You have more time with the drip leaf than I thought you would. Killing me right now is the jump from the second fence to the second hand. Yeah, it's a tough one. And you know, like I I feel like each individual jump is fair, but back to, like consecutively, it's just a hard course. It doesn't leave much room for making mistakes. It is also similar to the Breath of the Wild, a getting over it style. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where no, you no, you fall and you start over. You there's not much saving yourself. I think I'm at the point where I'm just it's literally just this jump that's consistently getting me. Okay. This last jump, you're supposed to jump to the other hand to win. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to me on stream, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna call that done. 
I'm just gonna call it done. I win. Do you do a lot of parkour, Arrow? Yeah, in Java. Yay. Yay! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you were like, I, I finished my parkour pyramid map in six hours, and I was like, yeah, it's not bad, but it was my first try, and then you're like, yeah, I tried it, I got done in two hours, and I'm just like, oh, I'm bad. <laughs> no, I, parkour is something I do casually a lot, so like... <laughs> this is, uh, this is probably, like, the first induction I've had into parkour was just, I liked watching someone else do the parkour pyramid, because they knew the path, so they just knew every jump, and it felt good to just watch the little little Steve run around all the time. And I was like, I could do that. And we did beat it. Alright, uh, if you guys want, we can go back to the warp pipe and uh, back to the castle, and I can show you Peach's castle. Uh, Barry, if you needed to go for the night, Chrissy, if you needed to go for the night, that's fine. I'm just fishing in my swamp. <laughs> what are you doing in my swamp? You guys could come visit if you wanted, but it's just a swamp. That's all right. We got a castle to go see. Oh, I see. The castle's better than a swamp. Of course it is. <laughs> just kidding. I will uh, teleport everyone to me at the castle, actually. Oh, can you not? Yeah, I'll leave you be. Okay. Who wants to go to the Peach's castle? Snake can just teleport himself. Uh, I guess I can go. Is that Blaze? Yeah, yes. I will finish this later. It seems like everyone else is doing that. I am trying to uh, move the other, the Breath of the Wild parkour to the new map. Uh, Arrow, do you want to teleport? I'm most of the way there already. All right, I figured you can see the big castle in the distance. It's kind of hard to miss. Oh, before I leave, for the record, I just fished up like two puffer fish. Wow. Okay, so uh, Sekhmet was wrong. Yep. She Though I mean, Java speaking. she might have I been. What, I thought Sekhmet said every biome other than. Jungle. Oh, I thought she said you had oh. to go to the jungle. Because I'm just like, well, there's not jungle anywhere near us, I don't think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's every said. biome other than... That I just misread. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... Well, I'm not in a jungle, so I can't confirm that. There is a water challenge if anyone wants to do some swimming. I need to put the... Uh, gold in each chest. Uh, I want to say there's three chests and you're supposed to go find each chest and take the item from it and then you win. There's a couple of like visual cues as to where to go. There's air pockets. All right, Red, I'm heading off. Good night. Good night. Uh, there's more than three night chests. Off. Have a good night. Thank you for playing. There's four. There might just be the four. Yeah. Yeah, I see one up here. I only put one gold in, so just, like, if you find the chest, you did it. Congratulations. This is where we had the subscriber hall of fame. Oops. What the? Um, I glitched. Oh, yeah? I'm about to drown. Aw, oh, rip. What happened? No, um, the... S I trap door. Happened. Oh, um, I see. The, I was approaching there, and then, like, the chest over here, and it just glitched out on me. Weird. And unfortunate. Yep. Um, there's a hedge maze, if anyone wants to do a hedge maze. <laughs> This was part of our Mother's Day special, where I ran mom around all of these challenges and we collected uh, all of the flowers were hidden here in the in different reward chests. And we picked flowers for Mother's Day. There's a tree parkour in this room. 
There is a hedge maze out in the courtyard. The hedge maze is that. I see you guys are having over. a good time with the hedge maze. Uh, and the honey lava parkour is up here. Do be careful that honey blocks have very weird physics, if you did not know. They, like, slow you down. Yeah, you can only jump half a block. Yes. Okay, running right into the fire was not a good idea. <laughs> Note to self. I love the bee statue. If any of you guys want creative mode to try this and die a little less, let me know. I'm fine either way. Wow, I did it. Second try. Snake! You cheater. And then uh, you drop out over here. Whee! And you slide down the honey. And you're done. That wasn't even the honey block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the honey physics are really weird. I remember I was asking my mom what kind of block I should use to th and she said slime and I said I think slime is weird with physics let me try honey and I didn't realize that honey is also weird with physics but like I realized it as I was making it so I only have like one jump that uses the half block the rest of it's pretty straightforward and done Woo! Wait. Yeah, I enjoy this uh, Princess Peach's castle. I really wish that the mine, the bedrock structure blocks could carry the whole thing. I have to take it in six pieces, which is not great. Oh, I remember this room. Yeah, you built that room. There's a little archery challenge. I forget. Uh, Mom, did you hop off too? She may have. Yeah, I don't see her in the uh, VC. Okay, that is fine. They usually have church on Sundays. Gotcha. Ah, sad. You have to take the vines up on top of the uh, end rod there first, yeah. Oh. See, unfortunately, like, I kept clipping these vines, and I think my mom kept placing more vines, and it's like, no, you're not supposed to just go the whole way up the tree. That defeats the purpose of the parkour. All right, thank you for playing with us, mom. I hope you had a good time. I am sorry that we learned a little too late that the fire charges were the only way to win. Because I was really wondering, I was like, uh, the other team's stuff hasn't been on fire in a hot minute, pun intended. Okay. This feels like a good way to see off this map. Parkour, mini games. There is a learning curve. Yeah, parkour uh, is definitely something that takes a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a little tour here. Let's see if we've not done it in hot minute. We have. And that learning curve is a little steeper. <laughs> we have the Jigglypuff apartment building that I made for mom as a retirement gift. It's very nice, if I do say so myself. Oh, 
I just respawn back at the place. This is a uh, mansion my mom built. Oh, goodbye, snake. Most of this uh, Cirrus stronghold was built in survival mode, including the castle. I think the castle ha got, we got halfway through it when my server owner buddy said, I'm playing in creative mode now. Because it's a pretty big building. Was not sprinting because for God toggle sprint <laughs> wasn't a thing. In I know. This. God. It's like it took me so long to learn how to do parkour with toggle sprint, and now I can't do it without toggle sprint. <laughs> yeah, that's how I am in raft, and like my mom was struggling so much to do some of the different uh, parkour things, and I'm like, I don't know why you're struggling so much. Why are you going so much slower than me? And then I was like, are, are you not running? And then she changed to toggle sprint and raft and it makes the world a difference. Well, this is cool. Yeah, uh, Ajirago built this castle. <sighs> it's not fully furnished. And then I think I had built these towers, but I was building in survival mode, which can be quite a burden sometimes. It's weird. I go back and forth. Like, sometimes I'll come up with some really good small-scale builds in survival mode, but then anything big-scale, I get distracted and spend all my time looking for my resources. I guess that's the name of the game, though. Yep. This was built in survival. This, uh, forge. Foundry. Got a lot of workers here. We did a pretty good job. Th this was all also survival. Uh, the map exploration that we did. On horseback. The villagers did come back. This village kind of emptied itself out. And the funniest thing is, is that um, my mom had this house here, her mine. And so over here, she had a mine shaft. And well, would you believe that all the villagers fell down here and they're still here? They, they're still here. So because all the villagers moved down here they they died off up top and then there were just no villagers up top <gasps> scandalous what are they doing they're in love and they don't care who knows it they're all also obsessed with um job stations that they cannot see uh oh uh oh what? <laughs> Can get the creative mode at that time. That's fine. I didn't even think about it. I, like I heard the damage and I was like, oh yeah. And then I just didn't do anything at all. <laughs> but yes, this. So this was the mine shaft where the villagers all fell down, and of course they lived because they landed in the water. And then we lost all of our villagers up top. But now they are back. I can't remember if we spawned in two and like trapped them somewhere. Hi, Snake. And so now when we are trying to set up villages, um, we usually make what we call the mayor's house, which is a house that it has like a trap door blocking them villager breeder house so you can shift and come in here um but the villagers can't leave for some reason i don't remember why 
but they just can't leave here. And so, um, this one's a farmer, so he can come and... Er, oh, I think she comes in here and gives them bread to make them breed. But that way you can't run out. And then, of course, the baby villagers can just leave whenever they want. They're too tall. So if you have one of these um, set up in any village, you can make sure that they should not die. You just have to make sure that like zombies and stuff don't spawn inside. And then you'll be fine. Oh yeah, I'm I'm kind of sad that our boat race course is gone because that was really fun. We made a a race course out of packed ice where you rode a boat to like traverse the course and it went all over this like starting city, but uh the server owner didn't love that it was like blocking everything out and I think I actually made it go through his castle at one point. So he, uh, he tore it down, and I don't blame him for it, because it was a little unsightly. And yeah, as it turns out, navigating a boat across packed ice is ridiculously hard. But I would love to set up more stuff like that when we restart the server. I feel like adding some extra mini games, some extra, like, community stuff would be great. I can probably use a structure block to copy and paste the two different halves of the lava wall. That way we can tr teleport this game over to the new map. <laughs> like, I, I'm really bummed that I can't just use world edit. I'm so used to world edit. It's so easy, but alas, bedrock. Now, of course, the other thing is we have a Java server. So we have one of each server. Uh, it's just that the bedrock seems to be the one that most people have access to join. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's something that, that, I, that I was wondering. At the very yeah, least, for, uh, for Pridecraft, it was the version that most people had access to join. Um, and granted... We were originally set up to do half of the streamers on Java and half of them on Bedrock until Mojang gave out free copies of Bedrock to everyone who had Java. And at oh. that point, it just became, oh yeah, well, everyone has Bedrock now. So let's just right. all be on the same server. Gotcha. Um, yep. But I do miss World Edit. Trying to think if I have much more to uh, show off on a tour. I feel like we. Oh, the retirement island, maybe. What was that? Oh, um, I was just gonna say, do you think uh, you might do a stream on the Java server at all? I don't know. We had the um, Cirrus SMP set up on the Java server, mm -hmm. and that was fun. And we're just at a point where if we want to go ahead with a season two of like a lore based SMP, I'm going to need more than uh, like four people. You know, we, we just right. want to have a bit more of a turnout in terms of like player base and possibly other like streamers or content creators. Hi, Anki. Hi. Hi. Anki wants to say goodbye to the server too. This is our retirement home island. And yes, I... I will go to the Taj Mahal. You might need to remind me how to get there. We all built our ideal retirement homes in Minecraft. There's a, there's a rainbow sheep in here. He lives there. He is retired. Red Sand Village. Okay. This was Shay's house. This was Island Grandpa's uh, pine cone, they called it. That is Sekhmet's glass dome. This was, uh, Nat's. Welcome in, raiders! Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna deafen on the Discord call. Okay. Welcome in. I have my cat here. He's having a good time. Thank you so much for the raid! How was your stream? What were you playing? 
Super Mario World. Good pick. Welcome in, Raiders. I have a little song and video to perform for you. So I'll wait for the clip to finish up. Inky says hello. If you're not a follower, um, thank you for the follow. Uh, if you want to be a follower, you get access to this little Inky emote that you can spam when my cat shows up to give kisses like he often does. He's such a good boy. We also have an emote of my other cat who does not make appearances almost ever. But that's okay, because we love Tugboat. I'm going to play my little song and video for you. I will be right back. Inky, are you done? <clears throat> Keep going and growing. A raid is showing. Raiders, welcome in. How a stream? What did you play? Hey. Thanks for dropping by, I understand if you can't stay. Hey, hey, hey. my name is Radria and I'm a part-time streamer, full-time scientist and full-time dreamer. Hope you're having an awesome time today. I'll lead the way. I play platformer, sandbox games, farming sims, come watch all three. Eee. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch TV. Eee, ee, ee. Like what you see, there's no need to wallow. Find me again, go on and click that follow. Please refresh your streams and then your free pronouns they, she. Welcome, Kay and Raiders. Welcome in. Inky, can I help you? Thank you for the follow, Jude. My cat is having a real good time. We're playing some uh, Minecraft community games. We're getting close to wrapping up, but I very much appreciate the raid. I'm doing a little uh, server tour. Thank you for the follow, Trey Hip Hop. We're doing a little server tour because we're going to reset the server. Um, it's a very old map. Uh, it was made like a long time ago, like a couple years ago, and we want to reset so that we can spawn in the caves and cliffs and the, uh, the wild update properly. So I'm doing a little tour. And I have to load the game up again. We had a lot of fun tonight. We played Rainbow Race, which is a, um, it, it's a scavenger hunt where you're trying to race against another team to collect every colored die. And then we played Shopping List, which is another scavenger hunt. Welcome in, Judge Solbane. Thank you for the check-in. I do have a stream check-in, if that interests you. So this was our, um, we did a pride charity event and we built little retirement homes for ourselves. So this was my retirement home that I built. Uh, someone else called it a McMansion, and I'm just like, if I wanted to build a mansion, I would have gone way bigger than this. Meow. But I have my two cats. I have, I have Tugboat, and I have Inky. And they sleep in my bed. My nice little queen bed. We have an outdoor garden. Thank you for lurking. Raiders, if you have to lurk or if you have to leave, I understand completely. And thank you so much for coming by. Some nice little outdoor furniture and a garden. A really cool basement slash lounge area with a bathroom. I don't usually build modern like this, so this was a really fun little thing to do. Little pantry slash bar. Oh yeah, I was gonna build a dining room and I never did. Hi Robin, but here's our kitchen. And then a balcony with bees. Who doesn't want a balcony with bees? This was my mom's retirement home. I built a mailbox for everyone. It says mailbox. Mm -hmm. 
Chrissy Time Turtle. And this was when she built it. It's got a nice little water elevator. Doesn't look like a bubble vader, but that's fine. Some storage. All of these homes were built in creative mode, and I'm okay with that. We have Nat again's house here. Nat plays a good amount of The Sims, and I, we both felt like it kind of came across pretty well in uh, their building style. But yeah. We have Sekhmet's house. You just live on your throne. You know what? That's valid. That is valid. Not everyone did actually get around to making the retirement home or finishing theirs. I mean, mine has a, an unfinished area. Sekhmet is a marine biologist, so uh, she wanted her retirement home to reflect that. Little bird. Other little bird. Thank you for lurking, Jude. I have freed the bird. And then a little kitchen, kitchenette dining area. I really love Minecraft. I don't always love streaming it because my brain is all over the place when I stream it. <laughs> you live on your throne and you watch the parkour challengers. You know what? I probably would too. This was uh, Shay and the Queer Notes house. They built one together. Looks like there's a basement. There's a panda bear named Peter who lives here and looks kind of crabby with me. Does not look happy that I disturbed his slumber. Sorry, Peter. We had a, an entire saga with the, uh, with the chicken Bathonsu that kept wanting to uh, go out to sea. I like, uh, Shay would run around saying, where did my chicken go? Cause she named it Bathonsu. And then it was like all the way over here in the ocean trying to flee and we had to yank it back on a, on a tether. But yes, I, I really love all of the cool things that we built here. And I will do one more tour. Oh, Red Sand Village is where my mom's um, Taj Mahal is. She built a little Taj Mahal uh, in survival, might I add. Her Taj Mahal was all built in survival mode. Look at this thing. In survival mode. Oh, Arrow Bounce experienced kinetic energy. This is actually really cool. Her uh, crowning achievement. I really, really enjoy the palm trees. Yeah, survival mode. The whole thing. I am not joking. She, uh, she loves Minecraft and she's actually been like taking a good break from it because she knew that we were resetting the map. So it didn't feel worth it to like come up with a new project to build knowing we're gonna reset this map. She's a hacker. But yeah, uh, a very impressive build, if I do say so myself. Oh yeah, the Discord. Sorry, I'm back. I'm giving a little tour. Oh, okay. Because I figured if we weren't going to play the uh, Drip Leaf Spleef that I'm, I'm going to wrap up. We're at about four hours. Gotcha. Yeah. That's a really good one, anyway, so... Yeah. 
You're a bit past four hours on according to this my stream. Yeah, I think four hours and three minutes. I, I'd never like ending like immediately after a raid, and I was kind of showing off some of these areas anyway, so it's oh, like, ah, okay. oh, that's fine. <laughs> this is pretty fun though. Thanks for hosting. Yeah, this uh, has been a blast. I'm really glad we had a good turnout, because again, I would have made it work if we only had like uh four people, but having twice as many made it a lot more fun. Oh shoot, yeah. fire spread. <laughs> It's fine. Uh, there's just a couple of holes in um, Sekhmet's pixel art where she had intentionally lit wool blocks uh, to be a part of the pixel art. Oh, and then wound up burning down the whole thing? Yeah, because the rest of... Well, no, the rest of them are uh, concrete. Oh. <laughs> so, like, the fire's just gonna burn itself out, but it ate the wool. Yeah. These are legit, though. I've never seen any of these. Oh yeah, this was our uh, this was our Pride Craft parade. We built Pride parade floats. Each of the like streamers that were a part of this did, and we were raising money right. for the Trevor Project. And then uh, one of our most popular charity incentives was to get a pixel art statue made. Okay. So like so... pretty much every statue here was thanks to a donation to the Trevor Project. Wait, how uh, much did you end up raising? We ended up raising eight hundred and sixty-nine dollars. Nice. Nice. <laughs> um, it was funny. I think we were like four dollars away, and I pointed it out on stream, and someone was like, "I have to donate four dollars. I, I have to. I cannot not donate four dollars." Mm -hmm. So yes, we're gonna be restarting this map, meaning that, I mean, this map is going to be saved, so we can load it up at any time. But we're gonna start a new one. And one of the first things we're going to do there is because we hit our charity target, which was uh, $626. What was it? I forget what our target was, actually. I just know that we beat it. I want to think it was 626 because that was when we were supposed to do our finale or something. Oh, no, it was 622 for June 2022. Um, and so we smashed that target, and because of that, we are doing a, um, a reward stream, which is going to be a Skyblock weekend. We're gonna build, like, a little vanilla Skyblock challenge map, and people are gonna play Skyblock together. And I think we've decided that the end goal is going to be a dungeon where we have to fight the warden. So that will be a lot of fun, and we'll probably die horribly and painfully. So, uh, I hope to see you guys for that. <laughs> what was that? Um, I just said that seems like an interesting twist on Skyblock. Yeah, I mean, when you're playing in vanilla, you kind of have to build, like, pre-build stuff. Because you're, you want to get yourself to cobblestone, you want to get yourself to some upgrades, you know? But, obviously, you're not supposed to leave the sky, so how do you do that? You find a way. You can get pretty far down the tech tree, it's just like you, the typical bosses aren't usually available. Right, and we, we decided we were going to leave the nether out of this skyblock challenge just because uh, the, the portals are really weird in any version of Minecraft where like you could, e you could enter a portal in your skyblock, but if there's another portal in the world and you go to exit the nether, you will spawn at that other portal. So it kind of like defeats that yeah. fun of it. Um, it's, a, it's a certain range thing. Yeah, it is. I think there's a way we could add the nether in, but I'm okay. Like, we're just doing this for a weekend. I think you'd have to, I think you'd have to do that with a new world that's custom built to support. Oh, gotcha. Um, but I did look up a way to do a dirt generator, and it is possible to generate dirt by um, using moss and azalea blocks and i think you need a smooth stone generator for it because you can turn stone into moss with bone meal if you have a moss block already and then you can plant the azalea on the moss and it will turn into rooted dirt and then you can remove the roots and just get the dirt so 
that will be a part of it for sure. But I'm going to hop off of the Discord call and uh, start wrapping up stream. Thank you guys so much for playing and like, honestly, this stream would not really have been much of anything without you guys to come and play. So thank you for that. Uh, thanks again for hosting. These these games were a blast. Um, yeah, it was really Hi, playing with, yeah. with I Good will probably... I'll probably set up to do this again sometime down the line. I'm thinking it might be, like, in a year. But that, because that's where we're starting a new map, so we have to give ourselves time to build the new mini games, you know? Yeah, 100%. Yep. Well, have a good night, you guys. All right. Bye. 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 All right, chat. Hi, Rue. It's good to see you. We were playing some Minecraft mini games with the community and having a really good time. And it's been over four hours, so I'm gonna start looking for someone to raid. I'm glad you like, uh, the hat. Somebody redeemed, uh, Toad Hat, and that toggles it on and off. We had a hype train earlier, lots of fun, and I need to, uh, get in touch with Chris Cake to sort out his reward then. But thank you guys so much for coming by, for playing games with me, for having a good time. This was a subathon reward doing Minecraft community games, and it's one that I want to do again because this was a blast. You guys really made it so much fun. So I'm looking now for someone to raid. Let's see. I think I know who we're gonna raid. Here's the raid message if you don't mind copying and pasting it. You can either spend channel points on unlocking the emote or you can use the non-subscriber one. Either is fine. We're gonna raid Patient Gamer Rob, who I believe is um, streaming Among Us, if I'm looking at that correctly. Uh, and he's doing a 300 follower celebration stream. And honestly, Among Us is a good, it's a good time. We played Among Us exactly once and I was imposter the first time I played it and I kind of hated it for that because like no one wants to be imposter the first time. I didn't know where any of the tasks were. I was good at lying and saying, oh, I don't, I don't know where this is. So everyone was like, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know where anything is. Hmm. I almost won that first round too. <laughs> Thanks again. There will be more Minecraft in the future. I am sure of it. Mom even has a channel point redemption where she can tell me that we're playing Minecraft tonight. We have uh, the Kirby comic stream tomorrow. So if you like art and you like pencil and paper and you like comics and you like Kirby, stop by tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern. I will see you guys then. Rest up. Keep going and growing. Excuse me. Bye, everyone. <laughs>